Maybe if you put hit this. It. Three, two, that there. one. All right, coming in crispy. Hey, <laughs> look at us. Look at us. Come on. Tell How's me. that picture? Do you, do you notice anything different? Is there anything different? Do you see anything different? Come on. Come on, anybody? Anybody? Well, you guys all look fantastic. Um, and yeah, Kendrick Hunt. You see it. We got it. Mm -hmm, We're here. Mm -hmm. We're in here. Dude. Uh, so What's we've better, got this light too. Yeah, what do you think? Light, little orange, little this? warm, little warmth. Mm hmm. Or this. Not so. Yeah, Kyle's a little sunburnt. Yeah, I've been out yeah, in the sun. Yeah, he did, he did. That was not what was new, though. You see more wrinkles. That's it. I was actually. <laughs> that was one of the things that I was really worried about. I was like, man, is this what I really look like when people are looking at me? I'm terrifying. Now I know what Alex is talking about all the time. Before it was like really my face would be really white from the light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is a this does better, better wonders for me. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, it's nice. It's, it's it does certainly makes me look my age or or. Uh, yeah, Corey said we might be shorter. We look shorter. Yeah, we look shorter. Okay, we look shorter. Well, anyway, uh, shout out to Paintball Trading Cards. Um, straight up, I've had this camera in my bag. At, like I've owned this camera right here that you guys are all looking at us through. Yeah. Uh, four years, five years, three years. The I whole time forever. we've had this. The whole time since we've had beyond for the whole time that we've had this big span show, and uh, who knows? It, it, this might not work still. I'm, my CPU is is uh is ramping up a little bit. We're at twenty percent. Uh, so I'm gonna have to close out some of these background apps. But you know, we're we're hoping that uh, we're hoping that things you know pick up here. Yeah. This is a new, this dude turning a new leaf. This is something. So anyway, I got this like connector. We did all these other things. I downloaded some apps. Um, I got this infinite battery pack. We got a new lens on the camera. There was like a whole lot of stuff that went into it. Um, so yeah, thanks for the help. And uh, we're really excited to uh, bring you another amazing episode of the Spick and Span Show. Um, Last week's show was probably one of our better shows that we've ever done. You know, yeah. obviously, anytime Maddie's in there is is a uh, is a big, big um, bump yeah. bonus. Yeah. Uh, and then we had Dan Napoli. Dan Napoli's going to come on again today. We also got the big man, Bartman. Yeah. Yeah, Bart Yakmax going to come in here. I tried to get Tom Cole, but he's out in England, so there's a time change, mm. uh, and it was not going to work out. <laughs> Nick Sloviak, thank you, my Control, friend. Control, alt, delete. Control, alt, delete. Do not push those buttons right now. You're getting an air horn, my friend. Um, so, yeah, you know, we uh, we got a lot of cool things cooking. Uh, I see a little bit of new merch here. This is a nice little quick print from James. James from Island Designs is constantly like, hey, let me make you guys some stuff. Here's some cool samples. He made this hat for Hormesis, and I was like, I love that. It's got this little rubber stamp on it, and he mm. goes... Oh, that's the same as that? Yeah, and he's like, yeah. well, I can do that. And I'm like, this is sweet. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, I'll make a shirt in it. And then you obviously went up there for your Tiger Wear stuff. Yeah, drove up there. I forgot uh, how much more traffic is over there and how it's 20 degrees warmer. It's like the desert. Like, I actually have that written down right here. Today, or sorry, this last week was the hottest two days ever recorded in the history of record keeping. Well, that, that would make sense because that was the day I went up there. Yeah, it was on toasting, Monday. huh? Yeah, it was, it was, it was cooking, but... It was good to go up and, and check Jane's shop out. They're doing some awesome stuff. He showed me a bunch of samples of different things he could do. Um, so I, I was super impressed. Obviously, got a bunch of new our pre-sale stuff that we just did a few weeks ago um, in. And as you know, been plugging away, shipping, getting all the shipments out today for that. Um, but yeah, he's he's been um, dominating. Yeah. Doing a great job. So thank you, James. We appreciate uh, your support and your help and everything like that. And I totally forgot, you know, just because when we turn the lights on and when the, we see ourselves on the camera, it's just like we just an autopilot. But thank you all for tuning in on a special Wednesday afternoon edition. Um, happy 4th of July. It's the 5th of July now. Hopefully everybody's feeling well. Um, any hangovers that you may have uh, had or dissipated. I felt great. I actually woke up. Uh, well, I was woken up at four o'clock this morning because I had to. We had to drive down here and not hit traffic. Yeah. So that was pretty miserable. Seeing as I know that a lot of you were following my stories from Canada, um, it's also great that we're having Bart on today too because he's Canadian. We were just out. Marcel and I were just out in Toronto with the Massacre Paintball guys. 
uh, that was a lot of fun. Those guys are awesome. Dude, Canadians are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, we'd be playing and they're like, yeah, light them up, buddy. Fucking light them up, buddy. You know, you're like, <laughs> the way they talk. Is yeah, just, yeah. It's too good. It was too good. We were, I was like just dying laughing a lot of the times. But anyway, yeah, I had uh, some major, major flight um, delays, malfunctions, uh, broken bathroom, missed connections. Um, it was all it was all sorts of pain and suffering on on uh, Monday, and then uh, whenever it's like that though, you're like, well, it's, that's gonna make it so much better when I get home. It's like when you're sick. You're yeah, like, oh, when I finally feel good, Fin- I'm gonna feel great because you're right. You're I right. The frog poison so much. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, so that that's here's the caveat to that. Um, I wasn't coming home. I didn't get home till today. That's I went true. up there to visit Camille. Um, who's remodeling a, a little like a uh, little one bedroom cabana mm-hmm. no blinds oh really yeah no 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 so when the sun came up it's basically when we woke up because that's when Sloan woke up and realized dad was home so uh woke up six five, I mean I was same. pretty what time did you guys walk through the door seven oh yeah no that was early I was like yeah. I know how far away you guys were that's, that's yeah, how did early. you guys do that yeah. yeah yeah so um that was a yeah so anyway I'm looking forward to like you said Sleeping in my bed tonight and then tomorrow night. Then I see Steve Grundy in here. I'm headed out to Annandale Paintball this weekend, so I'm really excited about that. I go out there every year for like the last four years. Wow. Yeah, Minnesota. Um, he is the one, Steve. Uh, well, JT is Steve. Steve's JT's dad. Um, he's the one who gave us all those funny, funky little meat situations. Mm. Um, the blood sausage, the pig pickled pig's feet ears i don't know what whatever that goop was that we made damien eat also yeah yeah so thanks steve i appreciate that yeah <laughs> um so that's where i'm headed this weekend mafia then, said i'm fashionably late you know our our employees starting to get the, yeah, the hang of the show we might have to you know? write you up we might have to write you up or or a raise because being late is is, is uh, the new thing yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's a new thing um so yeah, man. Uh, another thing, actually, because I was just propping prepping the wheel. We have audio. We're frozen. Hey, they were back. Okay. <laughs> just gotta just get a, a clap sound, check. Just sound check. Okay. Um, so y- we're gonna monitor this whole camera situation because my my guess is it's gonna start smoking soon. What's that? Uh, piece of paper on the back. Yeah. So uh, there's a viewfinder. So so basically on these Sony cameras, it's either you're looking through the, the, oh, when the you thing put it or when you put it to your eye, yeah. the viewfinder goes yeah. on. I know. So I wanted to turn the screen off so I could keep the temperature down. Oh. Because this thing's going to hopefully be, this workhorse is going to hopefully be cooking for uh, for uh, two hours. It should have put like one of Sloan's Barbie dolls if I like it. Yeah, I was just kind of working with like a little so bit you, of, yeah. You know, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. don't want it to realize it's a piece of paper and then shut off. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I just like to keep everybody guessing. Yeah. It's we're we're really bootstrapped here. So anyway, what I was saying is, I was uh, I was prepping the wheel for uh, for some major giveaways today, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I realized that um, thanks to us sending out all those posters, we reminded a lot of people that they're uh, possibly paying for the the mega support status membership and they didn't really want it <laughs> so we did shave off a night we got a little haircut on the mega support status members but i do want to point out and i want to thank everybody who was in the community section and was able to uh scoop up some of the deals that we had on the dynasty site this weekend we had a killer sale on these sunglasses on those these dynasty sunglasses i think that yo still has them up for like 60 bucks a pair but I, uh but a handful of you guys might have gotten 50 percent off of that even so uh Pretty, pretty solid. Uh, and yeah, Jordan Jackson, you're right. Dan Shelley, that means that you guys have a better odds of winning. And we're still not going to stop sending out some freebies because we've got... We've yeah, got the, the, sorry, go ahead. Oh, wow, look at all these things. Wow. Yeah, we can get some of these away. Uh, guy named D.U. in here said, shout out, speaking of my teammate and cousin, met him and is oblivious to pro players and paintball. I... I completely forgot to tell you about this the other uh, night. I was out and was having a couple of drinks, and I was talking to these two guys for a little bit, and then they were like, so what do you do? And this is like an hour in of uh-huh. talking. And so I'm like, oh, I play uh, paintball professionally, do some other stuff. Clothing. He, the guy's like, wait, what? He's like, I play paintball. I play paintball like almost every weekend. And then we started, and I was like, you know, uh, like 
you know who Ryan Green's fan is? And he's like, yeah, I know who Ryan Green's fan. I was like, that's my roommate. He's like, Wait, what's your name again? And then we like started looking at it. It was funny. Um, and then he was like, we just started talking paintball for it, like situations, everything. So oh, it, was, no way. it was cool. Like small um, world. Yeah. To like that conversation just evolved randomly into that. So that's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, look, that's the cool thing about paintball, right? Is like everybody has played or does play and, and you, you find people, uh, just but definitely them. rare that someone yeah. plays competitive paintball. Competitive paintball, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I met, um, I met someone, oh, Luke. Mm. You know our buddy Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Randomly in the OB, like we were getting our wetsuits on. And that's yeah, oh, how, that's, that's how I oh, met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's how right. I met him surfing. So, so pretty cool there. Uh, but yeah, we got some of these cool little keychain. Look at this. Watch this. I think there's an autofocus function. Maybe. Oh, look at wow. damn! I better get my fingernails. Dude, <laughs> Dude. this camera is nice. I know, I know. This nice. camera also. Did you just look at yourself? <laughs> yeah. Hair looks Dude, better. Looking, looks yeah. like I got more hair. I look shorter, and it looks like I got my head squashed. Maybe it's this hat. I gotta change this to change the look this on the is, hat. This is very nice. And this, yeah, I mean, I, James, I need a, I need a large shirt. I think large shirt here. Uh, so we got these things going out to mega support status members, uh, as well as like a bunch of other, you know, big time giveaways and whatnot. So, Corey, yes, I did. I sold my force. Uh, shout out. I was just. Talking to Ryan the other day, I found this uh, this app. One of our buddies showed us. Um, Joshua works in the at the Miramar base. He mm -hmm. showed me that that uh, this paintball vault app, which is like a new right. buy sell trade. Mm -hmm. um, pretty cool. Works out um, well. I actually didn't even realize uh, I had sold sold it because I didn't get right, like, right, a notification yeah, yeah. or anything. <laughs> Do you want to enable uh, the notifications? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> and then I got like three messages from. Uh, from the guys who run Paintball Vault, and then also the uh, person that purchased it, like, hey, I bought the uh, Force like two or three days ago. I don't know if you know. And I was like, oh, sorry, I, I had no idea. But really cool app. Um, if you have anything to sell or looking for some, it's kind of like for. I feel like it's like an offer up for paintball for paintball stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it works. Really, yeah. The functionality is great. Like everything. You know, I like I like that kind of idea too because when you are trying to sell something, you don't want to put it on offer up. I don't know. Is PB Nation still a thing? Is that something that like, people do? Uh, I don't. I just think, I just I put a picture so. of my Instagram, and yeah. that is you know hit or miss. So Facebook maybe, maybe uh, market marketplace maybe, but this and, app and was did, cool. Did Drew Templeton make it? I I guess so. I know he. Yeah, maybe he did. There he we go. We got more than I do. Yeah, we got a lot of people here on. Uh, um, yeah, we got a lot of people that are on, that are on that. I got to check it out, I guess. I guess I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Um, yeah, speaking of checking things out, checking things out, actually, also, also. Um, I'm going to bring this up right now because I've been living on uh, on these nectar pouches today. <laughs> Making it through. In the, in the last the last couple of days. So I saw um, Camille's already getting a head start on the Oh, dude, she's snoo you. snoozing, right? Yeah. How, how nice is that? Good, good. Yeah. Thanks. Her and Sloan. Her and Sloan. Cooked. <laughs> I've been sleeping since one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to work, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone right. out here has got to be got to work. Got to got to keep it on. Uh, so yeah, Dan and uh, Bart are both ready, so we can we can get them in there. Check it out. Um, yeah, Michael Brayton, you guys got him. I know I know uh, Chili Borad has been all <laughs> um, all over the nectar pouches. I think he's won twice, and I think he's uh, he's really into them. So yeah, these things are great. Um, and oh, you got the subscription chili iced mango kicking. I don't know if there's any chili in the iced mango, but maybe chili Borad be putting some chili in there. I could see that. I could see that happening. I can. I can certainly see that happening. I can't believe we were going with that. Uh, the previous camera situations for so long. This I know. Is like, yeah. Isn't that wild? Well, hey, high, let's, like let's high not, definition. Now. It is. It is. I need to put makeup on before we. Uh, we need hair. We need a hair and makeup. Yeah. I guess yeah. So. so thank you guys all uh, in advance for your donations and your subscriptions, uh, because now we're gonna have to get a full production team to make sure that we don't look, uh, so we don't scare children yeah. while you guys are watching this. Um, <clears throat> so, I, I'm I'm blown away. You know, it's funny, uh, and I don't know if you really remember. So shout out to everybody who was born in um, the uh, the era of. DVD, yeah, sorry, when DVDs first came out mm. and when HD first came out, but I remember like I watched VHSs, like that was the that was all you got, and then when the DVDs came out, you're like, what are you talking about? How can it possibly get any clearer than what I'm looking at right now? Yeah, and then you're like, what? <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, HD. You go, huh? <laughs> I mean, it, what? Do you, what? Do you, how are you gonna make this clearer? It yeah. already looks like yeah, real. Yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, but now we know. Um, 
And this is what it looks like. Yeah, wow. Mafia said we got to get video on Spotify. I wonder how difficult that is. Um. Okay. Okay. New. Uh, new. Uh, new. New level unlocked here. We just got to now. Now beat Should that boss. Know, we'll hit up uh, Joe Rogan and Young Jamie. See if they can yes, give us yeah, some yeah, tips. Yeah, yeah. I keep hitting him up. I just. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I, now it's all blue. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Looking like Scott. Ten, Scott Kemp texting his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get uh, let's get Dan on the on the on the horn here, uh, and Bart. We'll call um, we'll get Dan on first here. We want to get uh, get him going, and then uh, you know a big shout out as we're getting this thing going to Gen X uh, for uh, and and um, our we fan. Not, we're not adding that guy right yet. Not right. yet, not yet. Don't want to have him. Um, uh, Matrix gear. We've got some shirts. We're gonna give away some of these Matrix gear. Uh, help helping to keep the lights on shirts. Speaking span show shirts that you see over Kyle's uh, left shoulder, and all right, that? get a little audio connect here. How you doing, Dan? I'm good. Let's see if I do this correctly two weeks in a row. Can okay, okay. Not a lot of FaceTiming, huh? In your, in your uh, world? Not on my computer. Okay. Um. All right. Well. Yeah. Shut this door too. Yeah, oh, just in case sound. the monster wakes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna get toasty in here. Um, and she she probably knows uh, a little bit better than. Uh, okay, than we the just old uh, we get a little 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 skip, little freeze skip. What do we got here? All right, we're back. Okay, so we are um, yeah we're back. So we're gonna be monitoring this uh, this this flow from the camera here. We're still we got killer Wi-Fi's booming. CPU U usage is, is 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 about double what it normally is, but um, hopefully we're not gonna wear that. All right. How's that? How's that video coming, Dan? Um. Be so there should be like, I don't know. I don't really ever use the. Uh, I don't really use the computer for FaceTime very often. Yeah. But, I'm also. <clears throat> there we go. I'm also oh, connecting my web my webcam as well. All right. Mm. Let me let me uh, let me let me bring you up here on. Uh, yeah. Boom. All right, there you are. So, um, just as like a so Dan, last week I, I I've been texting you a little bit. Um, last week's shows was you know pretty top ten ish on uh, on um, views, right? We're we're over four thousand views. What's happening hmm. there? I don't know. It looks like it reverted back to the. Yeah, no, I think we're all right. I'm looking at it here. We're good. Um, so. Uh, lots of lots of great responses to everything, you know, and I and I think we just kind of, you know, hit the tip of the iceberg as far as kind of what we. I mean, we can talk about this for, you know, um, months, really. Uh, right. <laughs> and, and it's so funny as you were texting me, you're like, dude, what about this? And I forgot about that. And uh, that's the beauty of obviously being able to do this on a on a on a regular basis is we can kind of just keep chatting and keep talking about all that sort of thing. Um, but. Uh, yeah, man, it was it was cool, really, really fresh insight, and and cool to hear your take and what's been going down, and then Maddie's take, and uh, lots of really good gems out of that last week's episode. Nice, yeah, man, it was super fun. I mean, I think it was a pretty cool, um, like cross cross geez, cross section of perspectives. I mean, you guys, right? Obviously, as pro players, as as you know business guys in the industry making your moves, you know, Maddie, um, as, as working with ghost sports currently, like I'm kind of working outside of, of paintball, but coming kind of back doing some more and more with iron kid stuff. And then, you know, all over like our histories, um, pulled into it as well too. So I, I hope we gave folks, um, I got some nice messages from people on social as well, which is super cool. So, mm -hmm. um, I hope we gave him something interesting. Yeah, yeah, and and, and uh, as far as social, I mean, you don't you don't post a, a ton out there, but definitely some cool cool stuff. And every yeah. so often, you might just get a tiny little nugget, just a little little morsel to feed the you out there who who want to hear just a little bit about what's going on with this Iron Kids documentary, which uh, is so tightly kept under wraps. It may as well be a Hollywood film. Like the the newest inst the newest um, Christopher Nolan movie for all I know because I can't even get any information regarding what's going on aside from what Dan posts on his uh, on his socials. So stop. Right. So first of all, please stop asking me because I don't know. I, I really I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> um, it, 
it is man it is very much what kind of like alex had said um when he talked about it a little bit last week which is awesome of i mean we're just <clears throat> we're just trying to do it right and um <clears throat> instead of committing 100 percent to timelines just like we really want to get it right and like so much of our lives now are everything is like instantaneous mm-hmm. um you know and there there is something to be said for some of those um laws of scarcity or that kind of, of, of stuff like that is that you, you know, now I don't want, we don't want to let people down. Bad anticipation be so high, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, it's like, we will, I mean, it's cause I mean, seriously, it sounds super cheesy, but like, I mean, you guys are, you guys are special like people, you guys are special individuals. You guys did so, have, have done something that time is, is, is very special. And we want to do like a piece that, um, you know, reflects that. And, um, it's just, it's really just me chucking through stuff in, in, in post-production. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, end of the year ish, you know, maybe beginning of next year is the, is the kind of when I think, you know, folks will, um, be, be able to see stuff, but I think it's, I think it's going to be worth it. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that everybody, it's going to be worth it. I, it's going to be worth the wait. And that's funny you say that, right? Like, uh, how, how everybody is, um, you can just, you can just hook it to the very top and it'll kind of drop down, give as much surface area on the stick. Sorry. Um, yeah, everybody's gonna be stoked and you're right. Like every, you think that everything is done and like, it's like you watch it right now, right? It's like, I want to see it immediately. It needs to happen. It needs to happen within the last couple of hours of it, of it going down, you know, but you don't think about all this, all the projects that have been working behind the scenes for so long, but um, no, everybody's really stoked to uh, to see it. I'm, I'm positive of that, and um, hopefully, hopefully, I get like an advanced screening or something. I don't know. Oh, I mean, come on, yeah, dude, come that, on, that kind of stuff. Morsels, um, right? Yes, yeah. You got to do. Some. Um, I know. I mean, I know we want. That's the thing too. Is I mean, I mean, we, we want to do some screenings at some point. That's that's like you know, we've talked about a bunch of different things. I think you were talking about it last week on the show, mm-hmm. with Ryan. Or about um, I can't remember if this was off. Um, offline or, or online about the potential to like show it at paintball fields and bring some stuff around and just really kind of take some stuff that's you know we all grew up with in um, skate surf snow mm-hmm. um, and even like the early days of paintball I mean shoot dude one of my favorite memories still I mean you can barely see it I think because it's on that wall but I've got a yeah, um, serial killers. Alex Oliver and Pat signed poster from um, the serial killers premiere that was at like that cool little theater that was in San Diego. I can't yeah. remember. I, I don't call the name of it. Um, um, but that was a great yeah. experience, man. It was in Solana Beach. That's right. Yeah, and 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 just yeah. uh, just to kind of like get get everybody up to speed on this one because we have Bart coming in here in the next uh, minute or so. We'll give him, we'll give him a shout. He's ready to go. But um, we're gonna talk about like more so the history of paintball being on TV, right? And then what uh and i know we talked about it like what is it gonna take and this is why i like how you're gonna be here because you had some really good insight maddie and alex have a very staunch opinion of the fact of just put your head down and it'll happen it'll materialize at some point Mm -hmm. um and then bart i know is pretty active in trying to make sure make it happen and you've you know he you you guys had you you guys you talked about you know one of the times you wanted to have you just like hey just yeah can you do it (laughs) Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'll be cool. Obviously, like you know, known Bart for forever. We done I think three different films with them in the course of the times with clips and stuff like that. And that's another cool perspective because of where he is with you know the league and all that kind of stuff like that. Is there's different you know um, di- different points of view than you know probably Maddie, um, Alex, mm-hmm. obviously. Also, uh, it should be a fun show. Yeah. Um, all right. You want to you want to bring uh, Bart Man in here? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get them in here uh, right now. And, uh, yeah, if anybody has any questions, just throw them in there. I know we didn't get a chance to ask uh, answer everybody's. Uh, the last one, we were we were kind of um, – uh, we are on the two-and-a-half-hour mar- mark. And uh, <laughs> I think you have to ring it. You have to push the ring button. You do? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like there were there were a couple of questions. Some of the stuff got uh, – was answered in there. There he is. Hey, Bart. What up, my hey, man? How are you? The boys. Yeah, <laughs> look at you, dude. God looking good. It. How are you, sir? Good. Happy for you. Want me on my computer or my phone? Um, whatever you want. Whatever's comfortable for you. You, you, we can hear you. You look good. Um, I like the shirt. 
Makes it, it's very youthful. Hold on, I'll look, very I'll youthful. Look a little better when I put this on. Okay, I, I know what you mean. You look a little younger with a hat on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's it going? Happy. It's actually Happy Canada Day. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happy what? Happy Canada Day. Yeah, well, July, July 4th today. was yeah. over, right? That was July yep. 1st, I believe, is Canada mm. Day for what, second or third for you guys? Yeah, hang on. Yeah. Where am I at here? Where are you? I don't know. You're. I just. I went AWOL. There I go. <laughs> you looked good a second ago. I, was, I wasn't lying. I wasn't yeah. lying to you. <laughs> um. Yeah, so uh, so how's your vacation? Well, I'm, I'm at the lake, so it's going okay. <laughs> nice. Excellent. That. You can see the little. The little uh, can't, that's where my that's where my place is right there. Wait, is that like a um Is that out is that a window right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> the painting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. And you were uh you missed Philly. You were out in in Europe. I went over peace for ten days. Okay. I had a, a ride and drive that I was on a I went through Italy and uh, Switzerland and France. Excellent. Good for you. I don't. I don't usually miss those events unless it's COVID. So, unfortunately, that's it happened. Huh. So uh, that's all right. You didn't miss we much. We thought we were gonna upset the dynasty. We thought we were gonna upset you the had dynasty us. boys, but man, <laughs> it would have been great to have game. you in the pit. That was a great game. You know, that just <laughs> yeah, it's not fun to watch sometimes. Mm-hmm. No, that was that was a, that was a really cool. That was a, that was a, a great match actually. Um, definitely fun. Yeah, it was a good match. I think even I think the final match was pretty. Pretty wild. I was a little disappointed in Go Sports, so I'll be honest. Was that why? Well, perfect. Well, because it, there was no replays. There was no, you know, it was mm-hmm. a pretty important game. Mm-hmm. You know, that overtime, and we didn't, we had no highlights. So I think we're going to talk about that with, with Darren. I, t- I already talked to him. He so said he didn't have the replay guy there. Oh. We were cutting expenses. We were cutting expenses. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Well, no, this is, this, is, this is this is actually great because this is kind of what we want to talk about anyway. Is just is is creating a creating some media, creating a piece of media of whatever it might be a, a package to to deliver to the masses that people will, will uh, digest and enjoy and and uh, and and really click with. Um, and you know, I know Dan's worked on a bunch of projects with you with uh, with TV. You've been involved in it uh, and. I don't know. Yeah, people. People. This is what people ask about. You know, a lot of it. Well, there's some things that have to be. I think there's a lot. And let's put it this way: it's my ultimate goal. <clears throat> so, there's been a lot of discussion. You know, we had that little players meeting, Ryan, way back in the day. Uh huh. Uh huh. But uh, you know, we never had one again. So it's kind of like I'm kind of in the waiting wings. I'm. You know, I don't. When are we going live here? Are we live yet? Yo, yeah, we're we're live right now. Yeah, we're um. Our screen just froze up. Yeah, we're good. I still have you guys. Yeah, yeah, we're we're still we're still here with you guys. We're just um, everybody can hear it. We'll we'll keep it we'll keep it going. So yeah, keep keep uh, keep keep chatting about it. No, it's the uh, it's the ultimate goal is to get us back on television and uh huh. You, you know, we've had meetings with. NBC. Um, there's a lot of things that they're looking for that we, at this moment, can't. We just can't produce the numbers that they are looking for. In a same adjustment on the game, and Tom and I talked yesterday, probably for a good 45 minutes about you know things, ideas. And one idea we've got is changing the game. Is you know maybe we go to a four minute point system. Which I thought was interesting. It was the first time I've heard it, and I thought it was interesting in a sense, and it creates the drama, and it's a change of the game. But again, let's just—I'll run you through it real quick. The idea, and then not to say that that's what we're, we're going to do, but just another idea. It's four minute point games. You play a three minute, three four minute point games, no matter what, um, and you have four minutes to score that point. You play a team three games, three four-minute point games, and you play five games, five matches, not four, as we currently know it. So, and then we would run a, a snake fifty, which would count as a three, like a field goal, mm-hmm. and like Tom explained, a three, a field goal, and say a touchdown. So, a touchdown meaning you would have the whole, you would win the game, and you would get, uh, I think it's seven, 
seven points in that game, that one four-minute point game. And then there's a field, what we call a field goal. So it's similar to, it's similar to football in a sense. If you're in the stake 50 and you, and you touch the buzzer, then you count three. The most you can score is seven anyway. It's a little complicated, but it has <laughs> merit to it because we've created an, an emergency type kind of situation in a four minute span. Hmm. And you get points and then it's, you get, you get a point for the win. So again, it's changing the game. It's still the same format, X ball, five man, but it's three, uh, three, four minute point games and you would play five matches. So in essence, it's still the same amount of time, but we've, We've dissected that point down to a, a more of a, an explanation for the broadcasters and what's going on. Um, and there's merit to it, I think. But again, um, you know, those are the ideas that are flowing. We've, we've talked, Ryan, you and I have talked with the players' meetings. You know, what format do we need to see or change to make it go that's going to work for TV? Mm-hmm. So again, that's where we're at. That's where, kind of where I'm at. And I, I, I don't know what else to really tell you. Other than we're searching and we're seeking and we're trying to find a way. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a lot of information right there to, to unpack and uh, uh, definitely got a lot of questions there. And Dan, I, I saw you uh, you kind of coming to coming to jump in and, and asking. We had like a little a little freeze on the on the um, stream, but uh, basically, yeah, I was just, yeah, go I was, ahead. I'm, that's, that's really interesting, Mark. Like <clears throat> as much as you're down with sharing, right? Like. Um, what's this um what's this look like from i know you said they're, they would be looking for live which checks out i mean live sports is the only thing that's keeping broadcast and cable going um like i mean what kind of not from a paintball format but from like a television format like what kind of things have they talked about like from the, from their desire, like is is well, five shows enough for them? Five events? Is it? Well, we would do the whole. We would probably run the whole year on per event, and you would run a Saturday final. So you're going to run live for the one hour, let's say, and then right. you'd have so from 15 the, from minutes the of perspective. It's a, it's five one hour shows. Yeah, and then you would run 15 minutes of intro on how the two teams got to the final. You know, it's live, it's discussion on, on highlights and blah, blah, blah. And then right. you run, then it, when the game starts, you run right into the game and so the we play that, the national right? anthem so and that, it makes sense. You, what you were talking about from Maddie's reference is like what we were talking about last week. Um, Maddie's talking, and I think it's important to understand the different formats of like what is television, right? Maddie's talking in the context of like a lot of our talks last week were in that kind of like post production docket follow episodic like build characters like this is like a live sports broadcast potential and i know it's just potential theoretical whatever that we're talking about but like just and it doesn't mean it's it's bad far from it but i'm just saying like that's a different so what we're talking about of like the either like manufacturing or like ratcheting up the drama like that is you know we even talked about it last week in the context of um, Formula One and Kyle and the the difference between the tone and tenor of watching an F1 race and the tone and tenor of watching the dock and follow that is Drive to Survive that is what you were talking about too Ryan about where you're talking about a large production staff and producers tinkering with getting you know performances and explosive moments and whatnot out of folks so i think it's another thing that it's important that people understand out there that there's different types of you know there's different television formats and you know you're not going to get that type of stuff i mean you know alex made reference to it when when you start monkeying when when you start injecting that stuff into something that is like a sports competition um that's where you border into the from the content level, not the business level. That like WWE, AEW world, where you're tinkering with what is supposed to be like the quote unquote performance. And I know so it's just important, but kind of that stuff that Maddie and we we're talking about, you know, that it goes in the proper box, which is post produced dock and follow episodic like this is almost like again which doesn't mean it's a bad thing at all but it's like dropping in for like 
a handful of like the PGA events, right? Like they're on whenever. Um, I'm not like a super huge golf fan, but like if you know, you're like, oh shit, the Masters is on this week. Okay, cool. And then I don't expect it to also be on next week. I know that there's probably going to be a couple months before, um, not on the Golf Channel, but on NBC's primary. Um, so that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it just it just came up last week with the Tom and and, and my call with him and and how he's talked NBC Live, and I'm like, oh wow, this is interesting. Let's. Uh, Again, those are those are perks or those are ideas that I like to hear from Tom and, and Darren and, and opportunities. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm not, I won't hold back to, to go after it and uh, do what's needed for paintball and get it up there. So because I, I think the opportunity when it comes, we got to grab it and go. <clears throat> and then if we have to change something, we will look at it and so throw it around. Let me, let me ask you this: Was this was it their suggestion to change the format, or are are you or we? I guess I'll be in this uh, umbrella of it's us. Are, are we trying to make it so fabric create something that we feel is more entertaining to watch or easier to understand? Because is it are, well, are the NB, are, are the people the powers out there that have that hold the you know TV time familiar? Well, here's with here's the question I think that we all have to answer. If you're a fan, what format? What would you like to see? Uh huh. Versus what we what we know as paintball today and how we've produced the paintball format, which if you think back to the PSP days, it was a race two format. And then the NXL comes in and we change it to a time game. And now we're faced with what do we do now? Mm-hmm. And what does what was a, what does a call it a, a spectator of true paintball or is it a spectator that doesn't know what paintball is? How do we? attract how what is the right way to produce and show this game well i think if you're going to go to a network like i mean that's what's kind of awesome what you guys have done with go sports and and when you live in this world of ott streaming like you don't need and that's so different from where we were 15 20 years ago like you don't need broadcast television yeah or cable television to get to like your core fan base right like to your audience like you can connect and 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 even transact from a business standpoint um with those micro universes like you know two things from a network would be like right would be like money because they're like massively spending on sports rights fees because that's the only thing that people will tune in for and then it's like a wider swath right like somebody who is not already like a hardcore like they've played they kind of know like okay yeah there's maybe like a competition level but they don't really know what's going on right it's that it's that casual fan like otherwise it's not a benefit to get and then it's not a big enough audience to deliver exactly what you have on go sports to nbc for them to collect the ad revenue so if you can do something that gets that like casual viewer um I, that's probably something that's advantageous well, we're you know we're currently on Roku and and Apple and you know all those other channels now. So, I mean, we're spreading that word right there in a sense. So, you know, we're trying, but again, eight thousand, nine thousand viewers per event. Just we need, and I know it's pay per view. So, you know, do we go down the path of, of free and and what results would we get with a free broadcast? Um, well, actually, Bart, uh, two things. One, do you have any of the numbers from those Hulu and those other things? Do are, 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 Who runs, who controls those? Dan, I know you have numbers from a UK Sky TV production from 20, 10 years ago or something. Yeah, I don't know the, I don't know the numbers, Ryan. I, 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 you know, I, we, we just got out there, too, so it's early. It's in the early stages of us being on those other channels. So it's, it's And what is early. it? Well, so hold on, hold on a second, because I'm a little bit confused. When you're saying, like, or you know, Ryan, you said, so, uh, Bart, when you're, you're on Apple, it's it's on Apple and Roku as, like, I can, I can subscribe to Go Sports through those, right? I can reach the OTT through those platforms, correct? Yeah, from what so, I understand. Yeah, so that's just a distribution, that's just access to the OTT. I shouldn't say just, like, that's awesome, that's very important, but, like, you're not, that's not, like... That's not on the network side of right. it. Right. Like Got it. OTT okay. Plus or like yeah. Hulu where you're not like. Yeah, we don't have our own logo out there yet. It's just yeah. another way. It's just another way to get to the Go Sports app. It's it's available in their app store, which is awesome because those things are super accessible. Like that's how everybody. But like 
Yeah, this is not like like a network putting those on. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. These yeah. there's there's people watching right now that have it on their Hulu um, and their their streaming devices right now. Um, okay, I, I see what you're saying on, on that one. And and then back to another point that you that you did mention about uh, uh, would we go into like a free platform? Uh, so there's there's a right around just under ten thousand people that that subscribe. Obviously, the World Cup numbers are get a big boost, but uh, we've done free broadcasts of the of go sports before um to do like test things i know that dynasty had a thing all last year where uh we our games were free for for everybody um i think on a couple of events and i think that that's a cool concept and an idea to like really try to get the the numbers boosted right because that's what we need to do is it's hard to sell nine or ten thousand people but you also have to take into account that everybody who subscribes to go sports is paying more than the normal streaming platform right about that's the same as like what a normal streaming platform is so these are like really high like amazing clientele fan base like that that, mm-hmm. that and that's like that's worth something in and of itself mm. right yeah, that's a, well, be that's careful a, about comparing i know my fun thing last week was apple and snow tires just and it's not that divulgent but be careful <laughs> about apples and oranges so the thing that you have to understand about Go Sports is you got to put it in the category of of couture fan base um, OTT. So you can't really compare the cost of Go Sports to the cost okay. of Hulu. Um, what's maybe more comparative is now, yes, it's piped through Peacock, which ultimately is NBC, so that's cool. But like WWE Network is like nine ninety nine, um, Fight TV, um, which is a combat sport um, driven, is in that like you know I think my Go Sports is like twelve bucks or thirteen or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's it's always that because I know you know you have the comparison. You just got to be careful about going where you're like, well, hey, okay. I got four dollars and I get a gajillion movies from Amazon, you know, digital time. <laughs> you're like, yeah. But it's not a live, a, 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 this little sports micro universe. Um, so just to be fair to the go, you know, to that, you know, that setup there. Um, so again, just so that we're all kind of talking about um, the, the same things, because yeah. you know, dreaming stuff can get like, you know, it can get pretty unwieldy. Yeah, yeah. It just it, that's how that's how it is. That's how it sits in my head space, in my my mind. You know. I just I just see the, the the cost to cost of it and and whatnot. Well, and, and and in the general, like I mean, Ryan, like dude, you're you're 100 percent right in the the wide panor- panoramic view of like a general, um, you know, looky loo casual viewer, like somebody just adding, you know, something or you know, look, dude, you can't even look at um, Apple TV Plus that has finally hit some thresholds of like, it can't just be one show. Like it's taken them a while to get like um, some momentum to getting their viewership up because it was like, Oh, I don't know. You know, the um, anecdotal discussion is like, I don't know that I want to pay five bucks a month for Ted Lasso. That's one show. Uh, But as they're rounding that offering out, that kind of, Mm -hmm. that grows. Um, but yeah, that's why they're getting those giant numbers. When you look at like couture stream or you start to look at like couture, like pay-per-view, um, I can give you, so, um, and it's, it's still small, but this just gives you some comparative numbers. Um, so we were talking about last week, um, like pro wrestling company that's owned by the Khan family, the folks that own Fulham and own the Jacksonville Jaguars, like AEW. They sell four pay-per-views a year. They just had one a couple weeks ago. Um, their pay-per-views are like 50 bucks. Um, and I think they did around... Around... I wanted to say it was like... Maybe it was 200? Oh, man. I almost hate now to bring a number because I, I wrote it down when I don't have a couple. I think it was... I think it was a couple hundred thousand buys um, in a... Um, set up there and they're averaging and if you look at the scale right so you can see where all this goes their um, flagship broadcast show which is on cable which is on TBS 
it gets between 800,000 and 1.2, 1.4 million viewers a week. That's their audience size. And then so when they go to have the transaction, it's only about, you know, it, shed, it, 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 it sheds a ton, which is right, is always going to happen. And I think is a, is a good comparison when you start talking about like, okay, what, what happens when you take the webcast free? Um, right, you're always going to get a huge shed. Way more people come in and dip in when it's free. Um, I feel like back in the day of um, the Pacific Paintball led Super Seven, um, I would man, you know, I'm dusting off some cobwebs here, but I want to say I would hear maybe sixty, eighty thousand when they would have it like for free. Um, but you have to then like be able to leverage that. Um, right to like an NBC or your, if you have somebody selling advertising yourself like that, you know, that that's what you do with the bigger number because now you're not collecting any revenue from, um, those audiences. So it's always, it's gotta be a tough decision. It's, it's always a, a thing in media and you're seeing, you know, the other thing too, is you got to keep in mind with streaming is, you know, we talked about it like last week, you've got, you know, the, the head of HBO max coming out and saying, like, oh, we don't know how to make money from this. Nobody knows what's happening. Um, shoot, I was just reading a, a thing this morning that um, streaming's cleaved, like, um, a massive percentage of, like, 80% of media profits are down over the last 12 years. Um, and then you're starting to see things come back up, right? Like, there's a base level of Netflix that has or has ads coming into it. They're starting to con- try to control how many people are sharing logins so that like they can get some of those subscribers re- revenues up. So, Hey, if there's some opportunity with somebody like NBC and some networks, like mm, that might not be the worst thing in the world. I take, I take a little investment, but that's what, you know, we got to uh, take some risk here somewhere along the line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, um, and I wanted to get, uh, I think we talked a little bit about it a while ago, but, um, what about just yeah? Well, I guess live. So live TV is the ticket. That's kind of like, that's what, that's what the networks kind of want right now. If you want to be on one of the original Big Five networks, um, they want they want live shows. They don't want any post production. Kind of like what we used to have. Remember, like those shows. I feel like those shows were good. It's what's generating the most revenue, Ryan. Like I don't know if I'm comfortable enough going as far in a broad sense. Certainly not. The- you know, can't speak to the opportunity Bart's working with, but like, I don't know that in a broad sense that there's no, um, like, look, I pulled the numbers out so you can talk about it. So, um, again, so AEW on TBS, like they followed that out. They were trying to build like a little bracket of keep, keep the audience, keep the demo for multiple shows. Um, they aired that ridiculous slap fight league. That was a fighting disaster. Um, that's canceled. They shed a ton of their audience, but what they replaced it with was a dock and follow show mm-hmm. on AEW. But it right back up from like the live performance and, and then followed by that. So I don't know that it's necessarily, but like if you just look at the, the deals going down, live sports are what is getting the largest rights fees. Okay, I see. In- all of us, but that doesn't necessarily mean. And then you might not see. I, see, I think, I think, I think we're. I think, and and correct me if I'm wrong here, but like a lot of it could be done and fixed if you create the right product to get people interested in order to watch the live show. Does that make sense? So we want yeah, live. All, if you want live right away, you're like, we gotta have live. We gotta have live. This is what they want. They want live, and then it just doesn't. Like people have to want to watch it. But if you could, so Ryan, when, yeah. to your point, when we think about some of our games, you mm-hmm. know, they go seven, eight minute points. I mean, that just it kills us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it just kills us. Mm-hmm. I mean, you cannot expect someone that doesn't know the game to sit there and say, "Well, I'm tired of watching these guys sit there and do nothing." Yeah, and that's why you know it's not only it's not only going down the avenue of trying to create. Uh, an avenue to expose the game. It's exactly what you just said. Is the game that we're playing today the right game to watch on TV? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. And I'm sorry to say yeah. that. I love what we do. But it, and if we don't change something, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. 
but it's not going to go anywhere. I, I really believe that. I, I, I believe in change and, and uh, you got to try some different stuff. And if we don't start trying stuff, we'll, we'll, hey, keep doing what we're doing. But I don't think we're going to be going anywhere with it with a mm-hmm. six, eight, ten minute point game, yeah. a one nothing, two nothing game, two one, whatever you want to call it, in fifteen minutes stop time. I I, I don't see it. I, when yeah. Tom came up with the idea yesterday of a four minute game, you know, quarters, whatever you want to call it, a third, third, a third, a third, mm-hmm. and there's four minutes that something's got to happen. You're either going to go to a stalemate, or you're going to win that point. You get you know a field goal. I like the ideas. I. I'm not, I'm not opposed to anything uh, and exploring ideas and we got to make some kind of change. It's, and we were talking about that on the show last week yeah. about, um, the concept of, um, and it certainly, it certainly sounds like Bart is on that, is on that ship where is paintball okay with, you know, and it's not just a manufactured drama. Like, you know, we were making references to, um, you know, the rise of X Games at the time when, like, vert skating was not how most people went and, and skated. Vert skating was pretty dead by the mid-90s, but it's what was the TV show. And then the format was, and, you know, um, you know, we were asking, we are talking about some of those questions. Is, is PayPal ready for, or whatever, are they okay for a TV product that is not necessarily, like, exactly like the game is maybe played in... Um, and then, you know, I think you guys were commenting that you already have, in a way, that situation because, you know, tournament paintball is only a, a sliver of the way a lot of people, you know, what most people who have played that casual person, right, that's played a couple times a year with their church group or fraternity buddy or work or whatever, like, they don't play what you guys play. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, you know, I think, I mean, I think there are successful, there are successful cases of that. Um it's like, will PayPal embrace, um, you know, doing doing that? And does the TV and does the TV product have to be exactly what you're playing all the time? Yeah, I mean, that's I I, I see what you're saying, Bart. You know, it definitely the layout can make. And I mean, I think a lot of people who are watching this live right now can can comment in here is like you obviously want a high scoring game. Like the, the, the Philly layout was perfect. That was a fun layout to watch the other two, <laughs> the first two events, not super exciting, but you never know what it's going to be like until you play it. And you're never going to be able to play it because then someone would have an unfair advantage of being able to play the field at a different time. You know, it's like, it's such a strange thing. And that's kind of like where the traditional sports that are played on fields or pitches or whatever, are just kind of like, you know, a good offense and defense will work well against each other because there's just constant action happening back and forth. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, we get good fields, we get bad fields. It's mm-hmm. all, all, but it's the same game that we've been playing for since fifteen, eight <clears throat> years now of the same game. Yeah, uh, how many rule changes have we had? We haven't had any. We haven't had any. Huh? You know, and and you know, in in good sight, that's not a bad. That's a good thing. We haven't had to change the game, but. It's back to what are we going to do for TV rights to, to televise it, to to create that momentum that all of a sudden it's you and I sitting on our heels at home saying, oh, wow, that was cool. Yes. You know, if the shorter game is four minutes. Wow, they really pressured. You know, there's a lot of action in that four minutes. You know, you're going to you're going to draw the game. You can afford to lose the game. You can go for it. You know, there's no more blowing the whistle. If you think about it, every freaking game now we go down and we lose two off the break and it's. Mm-hmm. To blow the whistle. Well, in a four minute game, there is no more whistle. The boys have got to go for it or, or lose or die or do whatever they got to do to get that. If it's a five on two, boys, you better go. And if you lose, you lose. But there's no more whistle in this game. It's four minutes. Mm-hmm. You want to hang on and try and draw for four minutes? Then that's what's going to happen. Four on two, you're going to have to figure out how to close or, 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 or win the game. It's, it's a four minute match. I mean, those are ideas. So, yeah. You know, am I stuck on that one idea? No, but that's an idea that came up the other day. So we're looking at it. Um, you know, flag f- flag football. Is there a flag that someone, you know, we got different buzzards around it. The 50 being a field goal aspect, it creates action on that segment of the field. Mm-hmm. You know, we do not have a football, a soccer, a baseball. You know, that's our unfortunate part of this game. We've got 10 balls per second flying at the same time. Right. From 
from, from 10, 10 different people, people. At the start it whittles down mm -hmm. how do we create the action that, that now, someone's going to be on the end of their seat trying to this is a neat game right yeah. right right and if you go too much right and there's too much spectacle then you're like what the hell is going on here yeah. but, you know you, you look at you look at like action sports and uh where they're jumping off of things or they're like grinding rails or they're doing all this other stuff you know it's it's somewhat similar without the <clears throat> without the fear of death or you know dismemberment but like there is an ever-changing course just like in any x game type of thing the, the course is set slightly different every time you go to a new event <clears throat> but um the idea is we got to make a create something that's like you're right exciting i really liked i actually really liked during covid there was the one-on-ones i think we mentioned it before we talked about it on the um before the show or on another show with um go sports was doing where like ultimate shootout, the ultimate shootout where like they would they would if you got to this buzzer you got a certain amount of points and you got some there and the smoke would shoot off it's like almost like a modern day yep. american gladiator kind of yeah, app, yeah. like sort of thing but again too much spectacle and you're like dude what the hell am i watching not enough and you're like what the hell am i watching yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah it's um you know i th i think you know i think it, it might come down to some more discussions amongst the professional paintballers or people in general vendors you know and 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 what do we risk you know what do we do do we play this type of different games on a field with three or four teams and, and put those three or four teams through the through the the ideas and, and create a new new format i don't know i mean i just uh you know I'm, we really struggle with it i'll be honest it's not easy you know mm -hmm. you know we've gone to the those meetings with uh you know the corporate sports people and try to you know introduce it and, you know they're you know what do they say you know they're not saying much because it's well it's paintball what mm -hmm. is it yeah, they don't know. Well, that and there, there, there's always been that bubble, right? And it's <clears throat> in that type of world, they don't want to be the first one to say that they like it, but you can't be the last one. If you're the first one and it works, you're 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 great. If it doesn't work, you're fired. So yeah. everybody just sits there, kind of like waiting for someone to test the waters and be like, "Oh yeah, let's try this paintball thing." And everybody's like, oh, "I don't know," and they're like, "Hey, it worked." You're like, "Yeah, I love paintball. It's great." I mean, I think in some of my experience, Ryan, it's like the guy. I mean. I'm saying fictitious because I haven't talk to him, but you know, you hand the NBC type guy the phone or you send him the link, and like they love the like the cool spectacle. Whoa, this is super slow mo, and here's pain exploding on, and mm -hmm. then it's like okay, and and then now what? And then once it starts going, it's deer in headlights. It's like I don't. You know, and then you have those things like Bart was saying, um, you know, that I've owed for, for a long time. There fo folks have I've talked about, you know, a concede is the worst. I mean, you would never do this in real life. This is an exaggeration. But like Ryan Grant should have to run out there like waving a flag and everybody's chest his ass. <laughs> so you are like, oh, they're giving up the point. Because otherwise, like, and of course, that's a farcical example. But, you know, otherwise play just stops and you're insanely confused as to like, well, well, wait, it's like, well, they blew the horn. Who's they? Who blew the horn? Why are they stopping? Like, yeah. Why is that guy walking off? Like, yeah, but that's kind of, they have that sort of stuff like here and there in other sports. I mean, when the when the quarterback grounds the ball, I'm like, why did he just do that? Oh, because he didn't see an opening. Or like in baseball, there's like some weird timeout thing where someone, like, and then obviously the, the, the change of rosters. Um, I mean, the only real one that like, I guess soccer goes nonstop. Hockey pretty much doesn't stop. You know, you break a stick, yeah, you gotta those fly are up to the sideline. Scoring plays, dude. Like, you know, Kirk <clears throat> Cousins killing the clock, and then you have announcers very astutely like that. Yes, it's, it's super mm -hmm. hard to compare these things. Like, um, it's just, and and it doesn't happen. And like to Bart's point from a moment ago, with the kind of way things seem to be played now, it happens a ton. <laughs> It's not like every once in a while there's a grounding. It's like, you know, whatever, right? Like right. six or seven of these points are, um, you know, like I didn't get to watch, uh, I got to watch Impact Dynasty and um, X Factor Dynasty. I think I didn't watch the finals, but but then I looked it back up and I'm like, oh my God, like a 2-1 final? Like, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, I could only imagine. It's cool. It came down like the one-on-one stuff is super exciting, but 
yeah, that's a lot of time of guys not. And then the thing too that I think gets overlooked. Um, <clears throat> we probably should have said it while he was on last week. Um, you know, Bart knows this. You put you put tremendous stress on your production team, on your commentators, on your TV, on people like Darren um, and their team. When you have like, okay, gang, it's one one. Nobody's really moving. Four or five minutes are chunking off the clock, right? Like, keep the audience interested. Like, that's really, really challenging for for those guys. And, and I think a lot of times what happens with Matt and Rich is um, they'll go into, which makes sense, you're going to fill that time with some deep dive. And if you know and love paintball, that's super awesome. You're like, oh my god, this is it's great. But if you were to think about that in like a casual presentation, like you know, I think I think a lot of folks sometimes forget too. Like, dude, attending an NFL game in person sucks, and attending it, it's totally different than watching it on TV. Mm-hmm. That game is built TV timeouts. I mean, you feel like you're constantly waiting around at an NFL game live with like the TV timeouts that are built in. The players are coming around. Like when you watch that. Um, you know, on TV, you don't get that experience. And like, you know, what revolutionized that from a broadcast standpoint is the replay. Like, man, I mean, there is almost never a play, I guess probably in two minute drill, but like where you don't like watch the play and then there's a replay and they're breaking down something else. And you have like all of that kind of stuff like that. So yeah, man, those really long points, I think are really hard on your, on the production team. They do a great job with it. I mean, shoot for again for those uh, for those I, I think I think one of the biggest problems that we're facing as a, as a paintball industry is change. We're yeah. so scared. We're so leery of what what's going to happen if we go to you know a change in the game. I could convert like we just talked three four minutes periods of four minutes. What what can we do that? Should we do that? Mm-hmm. I mean, do we risk it? Um, you know, that's, I, that's my, I think that's our biggest fear is saying we're going to change, you know, we never PSP to NXL, it never changed much. It's just, we changed the timing of, of the standard game. And here we are talking again about a change. And I, and I think our biggest fear is, is we do this and we're going to get kicked back. We're going to get, you know, kicked in the teeth by the majority. And then, you know, NXL has done a pretty good job. I think of, of the facilities and, and, and the presentation, call it. The game hasn't changed, but if I have a wild question for you, Bart, as a as a team from a from a team over standpoint, you and Ryan, just your format just made me think about this. So, if you think okay, it's a one hour uh, our, in our hopeful fingers crossed, right? Our fiction, fictional setup, our NBC show. It's a one hour show. Would the pro teams be willing to have? That's you're really only talking, you know, if it's a one hour program, so it's 48 minutes, 44 minutes of content, you're really, and you're talking about, you got your lead ins, you're really only talking about the finals at deepest, the semifinals. But for this example, let's just say the finals. Would the pro teams be willing to have like a standard tournament to get to the finals, right? And if the finals are Dynasty versus Impact, but that final game, which is uh, which is the broadcast is whatever this crazy new format or some other new like hmm. as the teams how would you guys is that something people, you would be open to is that either you would be like oh we can't play the competition one way all the way up until the finals and then have the <clears> finals be and i just bring that up because if you did that you don't have to revolutionize the entire infrastructure that you built well, because again, that's a, you know, that's a good idea in a sense because we're not risking everything, right? We're, we're, we're formatting it the way we know it, and then we get to, you know, maybe we switch it over to Sunday. Maybe the, the prelims are all built one way that we know, know and trust right now. But this Sunday for this final going, and, you know, I hate, I'm always one to say, why don't we do it for the next event? And then they go, whoa, 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 don't do that. We'll do it next year in, a, in 12 months from now, and I get that, so... Um, but no, I, I think that's a good idea where we say to the teams, that it's a change format. It's a change format for everybody. It's unknown. It's new. It's different. It's Sunday. Let's make it fun. Let's do something different. 
So let's create that avenue. We know what we well, we know what we know on Saturday and Friday. So let's change it, Ryan. What do you think? So actually, and I what got this. Your I, vote? What's your vote? I, Ryan? I got this written down what, right vote, here. Ryan, you, want, you want to know what Ryan, I have written down in my notes? Ryan. Yeah. What's your vote? You're gonna love this. Are you ready? Maui test production February. <laughs> See, I knew you'd love that. Look, here's the thing, right? And this is where I would always have have a problem with uh, the way that the PSP would run things back in the day when they're like, um, um, se- semi, true semi, and you're like, what? And then they'd say, oh, uh, uh 20, 12 and a half balls a second. You're like, well, the, the event's next weekend. Why? What are you doing? They would like spitball an idea and then just fire it out, right? If you know, in any industry, there's always a test. like a test run and i just feel like over in the past the test run has been the season that we're in now we have a good format right now which could use some revamping i totally agree with you there are definitely ways that we can produce a better quality or a different quality that that makes things more exciting and you're right and i think that if it's if tv is the goal in that you're right and then and then uh dan you had a good point also like instead of upending the entire industry to change it to a new format so that way hopefully this this works there 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 could be and should be a a test format well ryan you guys play payball every weekend so you could easily test it this coming weekend i don't play we don't we just i wish (laughs) but you haven't answered my question you vote for the change on a sunday and if we've tried the format somewhere else weeks before or somewhere else Uh And it does seem to work. Would you be willing? Would you vote for or against a, a change on the Sunday, not not the prelims? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, Bart. Yeah. You're saying that you're saying that that dynasty, the team that makes it in, into Sunday and the finals the most, gets to consistently have the 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 format changed, and so the people who don't get to practice as much, so we get to practice it the most. No, well, no, no, no. I, I understand what you're saying there. I, I get what you're saying, but again, I, hey, you know what you do? You know, we would announce that this is the change for Sunday. Mm-hmm. All the teams would be aware of it as you guys practice or whoever practices weeks before an event. You know, we know we get the layout the Wednesday of the of the week before the event. That's fair enough. But also, we're going to change the structure to going to a Sunday change, and you can practice it. In this in this format, yeah. whatever it is, yeah, I I think that could be kind of cool. And, then, and it's it's kind of like the theory is the only theory that we can honestly say is it's a theory to say that we're trying this theory or this format to make it made for TV. That's all we're doing. It's, but we're going to yeah. try. It. And you know what? You're going to get feedback. You know, let's just go with Tom's idea right now. Four minute games, three games. And, and try it. Teams with practice, try this format. We'll get the feedback from the pros. Yeah, it works. It doesn't work. Tweak this, tweak that. And then we come up with a theory. Okay, teams have played it and practiced it. Um, and it maybe and Dan's idea might work that we play the regular format that we know. But come Sunday, boys, we're going into a four-minute match. And they're all, whoever makes Sunday, this is what we're doing. Everybody's practiced yeah. it. They know it. They understand it. And it's made for TV in our minds, so maybe that's the the, the 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 avenue that we take. Again, I'm open to we're open to everything, guys. If you did it just, and you know, you have to look at it. I mean, I was you know serious but not serious at the same time. I mean, it, it's just it, if you literally just did it for the final, you are affecting the least amount of the tournament. I mean, if you do do it, if you do try to invoke it on Sunday because you've got knockouts and eliminations and you still need like six games to roll up to one, you, you could create like a logistical thing, uh, uh, logistical issues. If it's literally just the championship finals. So it comes down to like, whatever, like you, you know, like I said, impact and dynasty in the finals. And then it's like, okay guys, we go over here and we, whatever we play on this field or we do this thing. The other thing I was going to say, Ryan, before we forget, cause I know you made a reference about history. I mean, you guys are kind of playing the ramshackled version of the last time that actually was done. I mean, the creation of X Fall was originally presented as an exhibition at Amateur Open. Mm-hmm. Um, that was Nations Cup. That's when it was played as like the you know the to, to what you were saying right before it up and fully up at the ten man. You know they did do a big um, you know 
whatever, uh, exhibition of it. And then it kind of became, I mean, I know you've got the lead split and all that other stuff like that, but ultimately, you know, it kind of became one of the main formats. Um, so, I mean, that has happened once before, at least in, in, in like my time, but yeah, there probably hasn't been a, a lot of kind of test cases like that. Yeah. Um. Well, it, well, right. That this is the current format is was developed for a TV product. It really was. I mean, actually, even if but you think so far removed from what the, 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 of course. the TV version of it was. Of course, of course. And yeah. Actually, I mean, if you really think about it, it took out the key things. Mm-hmm. I'm going to step out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he's leaving us high and dry. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe he's it. Going, he's going to try to find the buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> he's conceding. <laughs> he's conceding. Uh, yeah. What was that? I heard, I think we talked about this on one of the other shows, though, with that idea that I heard being kind of thrown around about um, one side being on pure offense and one side trying to defend the point. Mm. Mm. In a in a time limit, yeah. Um, like you have an offense, like one you get you get a half of offense, or like you get three offensive points, and then three have to be on defense for three yeah. or four. And then and I if mean, the team scores, the that's actually that's actually a clever one because you could you could you could mimic the football uh, type of aspect around that, right? Yeah, and then it's you like have, you have what four are you... opportunities to score on yes. offense. Yes. Yeah. If you don't, then I get the ball back. Or I get it regardless, and that's a point. And I kind of like it like it too because it makes a the practice structure a little bit more interesting too because then you're working on like you have guys that are your like attacking mm-hmm. attacking guys and then you have like your you know your your solid uh like twos and threes that maybe those are those guys that are in for your your defensive side but it's it's i, I guess guys in a way um uh, it's a challenge it's it's it's, mm-hmm. it's something that's on everybody's mind all the time i think mm-hmm. But again, I back to my theory is we have to try something different. And yeah. I think we're getting to that stage. Tom and I are, and Darren are, you know, we've got some, you know, the NBC thing has come up and I've said, let's go, let's chase it. Let's see what it takes and let's find it. Um, and if we need to change the format before then, we will. If we, if we have to do something, I like Dan's idea of the prelims because we're so scared of right. changing the whole game and all of a sudden we're going to get you know, we're going to get this, the fact that, you know, NXL has gone the wrong way. They've made a mistake. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's a tax on, on the way the game is played. So I get that. But again, I think we have to, I just honestly think we have to create something for the sport. So you're in a challenging spot, Bart. Like, I think we were talking on it last week. <clears throat> and again, sorry, I have, my allergies are off the charts right now. So I'm sorry to doubt out in a second. But like... <laughs> Um, I was telling these guys, you know, it's like we're working. I'm uh, working on an MMA documentary, um, and Rafion fights for Bellator. So, you know, like a while back, I was on the call with their head of, of legal at, at Paramount about licensing stuff, and like the only business they care about is the media, like the fights, the broadcasts, like right. That is the business that they're in. They don't, you know, I know this is my quote from last week or whatever. They don't give a shit about selling gloves. They don't sell cages. Like, yeah, you know, that's all part of it. But they're this focus. You know, you guys are paintball in is in this challenging thing because paintball is still very much driven, of course, by people participating. So you guys have this very uh, intricate dual challenge, right? Where like you're not just a media company, right? Trying to figure out like a really good media product, and if you do, like you said, you have some of these concerns about, um, and sure, you know, they're real concerns. If you change the way things go, send this ripple through the industry, so. Um, I mean, I can definitely see like you guys are in a in a unique spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a challenge because you upset the apple cart. Look out! Yeah, they're gonna turn on you. They're gonna grab their pitchforks and they're gonna they're gonna <laughs> turn on you quick. Yeah, we're we're going somewhere else, and yeah. uh, you know, and again, you know, there's always the cost consciousness of the game. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not it's not cheap. It's not you know, it's not it's not cheap. Entrance fees, paintballs. You know everything that goes with it. Again, if you change to with uh, Tom's, I go back to Tom's idea. 
you know, you may not need 10 guys for the rosters anymore. You may, you may go back to seven and you might, you know, you're not going to shoot as much paintball. So the cost drops. I mean, there's advantages to it mm-hmm. that we don't realize yet. See, you know, it, and that makes it more affordable. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, man, I don't know. It's always that balance. Yeah, there's a, there's like that balance because, you know, some teams are like, I was going to, I almost said, I think I said it last week is like, one of the things that, and everybody in here, every single comment in here is ditch split deck. When And I think you know that. like Ditch what, sorry? Uh, the split deck format. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I well, was if saying, you think about it, if we go to a single deck on this form, new for, call it the new format, four-minute point game, you could run the semi-pros and the pros on, on one day, all yeah. day on, on broadcast. Mm-hmm. It would be so easy. Yeah, yeah. And, you and, know, and then now there's more exposure for... For this, for the semi pros, whatever you want to call it, I mean, mm-hmm. the games are going to be, and, and, you know, it's almost brought back. Right? Do you remember <laughs> when we when we went seven man and we were running the, well, we were running, we were double decking, but at the same time, it was still a seven minute game, but it was very quick, very mm-hmm. efficient, and we ran a lot of teams on one field. I right. mean, you know, that would, you know, as much as you want to say, you know, are we playing it? And again, we're in the fear factor of, you know, we get so much. You know, 15, 12 minute stop time games. We get so much paintball, and we're paying a lot of money. So, so now where does that all go? You know, now we're going to get criticized because we're overcharging this and overcharging that, and we're only giving them so much paintball. Yeah, there's that avenue. So it's 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 a fine line. But again, sure. you know, um, you know, exposure is exposure. And if, like Dan said, if we can expose the game, you know, media wise to the public and to the NBCs. And get it on TV. Let's roll the dice. Let's see what happens. Yeah. And that's that's my thinking. And um, again, I've I've given Tom the green light. Tom, chase these guys. Let's go. Let's see what's going to take. I w- I want to get it. Let's go. So, you know that we're in that go mode. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So you said I didn't have to be on the show for the whole time. I don't know how long the show is. Yeah, I I can uh, see. I know. I you got you got stuff. I know you don't. You don't. No, no, I don't have stuff. It's just I think we've beaten it up enough that yeah. that we understand the problem. We understand the issue, and 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 you know, the solution is is change, and that's all we got to think about is what what will work, and let's do it. Let's try it, man. Let's just try it. Not let's not give up on it and just keep doing the same thing because to me that's just. Then I think we've given up, and I think mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not accepting that. I think we have to. We okay. and I like Dan's idea. I really like that the prelims and then the Sunday changes, and if we all practice it in advance, everybody understands it. And then maybe the next event, it's something different, or or maybe something, maybe not. You know, who knows? But mm-hmm. you know, the powers to be is like you know the you know as being an owner of the league and, and part of Go Sports, it's we listen. We don't. You know, I'm not there to dictate, and it's. It's to make the game happen. So ideas, I get. We're open to any ideas. Yeah, and, and, and Bart, man, I, I do. I do appreciate you. You know, you know, I appreciate you, and I think everybody else uh, does. I don't think there's anybody who doesn't appreciate what you do. Uh, and we've mentioned it many, many times on the show about how uh, how great you are for the sport and what you uh, what you've given. You know, um, borderline crazy, but uh, but what you do for these guys and the kids and the team on the guys on your team. I know. I say kids because. When they started, it was for the kids, right? Um, for yeah. The boys, and you know, you you're you're still in it. The boys are still in it, and uh, you're you're not just doing it for the team. You're doing it for the love and the sport, and for everybody out there. And and I I certainly do uh, appreciate you and that and that that help. And I love I look I love that too, right? The, the mentality of like, look, man, if this isn't working, let's figure something out that will. And tell me, I'm whatever needs to happen, I'm in it. You know, like I'm fully supportive of it, so that's a pretty that's a great mentality. I, I think that's what I'm looking for is that is if we do come up with an idea that's crazy or mm-hmm. whatever it is, I think people just give it a chance. You know, and it it needs to be criticized. I get that. Mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. fine with that. But at least we're trying something. Honestly, we haven't tried anything in six seven years, and right. here, here we are. So they should they should. Man, what? Because what's it? What's it been? Has it been about eighteen years that you've been doing this now in the tournament scene? Uh, it's about twenty three now. The boys were were ten and eleven in two thousand. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's that's given a lot of your your you know you your family's time. I mean, everybody's everybody's you know 
life to that. So, I mean, yeah, there, there should definitely be appreciation for that. Yeah, just we got to, but I think it's time to change. And I think we're going to get criticized, which is fine. And I think we just, let's just, let's just do something, something to make our chance. And if, if NBC says do it Saturday and then the finals got to be on Saturday. So guys, I'm sorry, but we're starting the finals on Saturday. <laughs> Sunday, Ryan, you and I get to go play 10 man. Hey, and, I was just about to ask you, when was the last time you played, get Mark? To play. When was we the last make time? Sunday, we can make Sunday a fun day and, and all the pros <laughs> can play Sunday and, you know. Yeah, do the pro we can. Yeah, what the heck, you know, change the structure. It's what's wrong with a fun day on Sunday, <laughs> right? Well, we've been having fun on Sunday a lot this year lately. Yeah, too, I but. know you have. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. but, but I, yes. I, and I, 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 give, <laughs> I give you all the credit, Ryan, because the dynasty is uh, – I thought you guys were, were slowly going away there a few years ago, but I tell you the last <laughs> unbelievable what you guys have done. So Thanks, all the Mark. kudos to Dynasty in the blue. And, when when uh, was the last time you played? Probably oh six. I think it was play, really? I think my last game was against you guys. Uh, Josh Davies threw me in the finals or the, that game you knocked me out. I was in the back struggling and uh, I remember uh, you, um, Alex just popping me in the head with one shot. <laughs> That's the last time I played. I think it was against you guys. Yeah. Six. Well, Alex is a jerk. <laughs> uh, we all knew it. We all know it. Everybody here is on the same page. I can't believe he made you retire. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm looking forward to uh, some matches in Hawaii. Yeah. There we, we go. Set that up. Yeah, that sounds. I saw, I saw that smile. It's going to be an Impact Dynasty uh, clinic in Hawaii mm-hmm. at uh, in in Maui. I think is what we're planning. It right. Yep. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So. Tentative. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bow right. out here. I appreciate you, Bart. Bart Thanks, Bart. Hey, man. All the best, guys. Thanks, Bart. Appreciate it. Look forward to some changes. All right. <laughs> nice sign off. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, uh, you push the red button. Red button. <laughs> the, the hang up. I'm, I'm never going away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, All right thank thanks, you. Bart. Um, yeah, that was great. I mean, hey, so first of all, uh, sorry for those of you who, uh, but there was a technical glitch here with our new camera system. I, I just knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Dan, I think we, we should try it again. We can, we can fire it up for the last like half hour and see what happens. That's just, where we're at. That's where we're at. You know, Dan, we just, we, we, I was working, uh, uh, with Mr. This ghost paintball there and the paintball trading cards. And, uh, he was like, look, you got this camera that you got to put this, this is all the pieces that you need. We did it. I did a test stream for about 25 minutes before today. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, looks good. You know, everything, uh, everything seems like it's checking out. Right. When we plugged it in thir- the 30 minute mark, everything froze. <laughs> always. Yeah. Yeah. We look good for this. Always with the new tech, man. Yeah. And I know that's always a super <laughs> fear when you introduce yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And so, so just for a small recap and I'm, I'm just going to say this, like that was cool of Bart to share the fact that they're already in talks with, I mean, you know, in talks, like they talked to hey, NBC man. about putting a live element uh, out there. And the fact that like, yeah, that's the, that is certainly the scary thing, right? Is to create a live show and then go in the match that's two to one. Well, and so, dude, I want to riff. Uh, shit, I'm sorry, you were not done. No, no, that was it. That was that. That was, that's a, there's there's a bunch of stuff I want to riff on on there, and a couple yeah. things that I that I think are really valuable uh-huh. for folks to keep in, to keep in mind. Um, again, I don't know the, the context of of these, but again, remember, um, NBC is NBC Universal. Like Peacock is their streaming network. Mm-hmm. Like. Peacock is where like WWE Network is served up, and here's the reason why I'm 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 mentioning that because and I don't think that it can be overlooked, and and I want to bring it up too in the context that it's it's and I didn't you know if I've oversold live, and you know I want to kind of broaden that viewpoint. So NBC launches Peacock right, and they know it's coming. What they end up doing is they don't renew. So the Office is the top watched show on Netflix. They don't renew the licensing fees for it because they because they know they're launching their own network um develop it blah 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 office expires they're like great we're gonna launch we're gonna launch peacock 9.99 you want to watch the office um and you want to watch buck rogers in the 21st century from 1978 and you want to pay nine dollars and the public to your point from earlier said fuck no i don't nbc it was struggling big time and nbc universal owns the usa network so they have a three decade long history working with WWE WWE's standalone OTT network, their version of ghost sports uh, by that point, I think it's three or 4 million subscribers, but was in fairly solid ground. 
So they literally cut a deal with WWE for WWE to shut down their OTT and like port it through Peacock. Mm -hmm. And so now as a Peacock, and then you get this like piggyback on, you know, it's like $9.99 a month and you get WWE Network and Peacock. I don't know what it went up to now or whatever, but WWE has this built in fan base that came over into and kind of helped prop up some numbers kind of get some momentum going around now go sports is much smaller obviously but i think there is some interesting potential parallels there that it's like is that of value and then you start thinking about all of these media entities that have their thumb in multiple platforms so and i'm just making this up but Mm -hmm. like right it's like go sports you know does go sports become available through peacock and you can stream all of the other stuff including the other games the other format whatever whatever but the hour long yeah tv show the, you know the, the hour long version Production. of the the masters is what's aired on nbc because you will see this they will of course do mm-hmm. in shows that remind you like hey if you're enjoying this like well you know, swing on over to Peacock and you can watch all kinds of paintball. Yeah, yeah. P- Peter Sturgis, uh, one of the viewers, says that he watches, uh, that's what he, they, That's what Peacock does for motocross and supercross to get to watch it so you can watch it live every Sunday, right? right? That's a great example. Yeah. Yes, and they have some of that. Dude, totally. There's Yeah, that's a fantastic. There, there's a lot of, um, so that was interesting. The other thing um, that Bart brought up and even just in thinking of it in a broader sense is, and, and I do think some of this uh, points back to what we talked about last week about like ask a TV executive instead of just sort of make up your thing like that is this concept that like, especially when you're in like a, a position, you know, you're not in the position of strength. What does the network need? So AEW has, since they've launched, they've added two more shows. Warner Discovery has paid them rights for two more shows. They are on Friday night and Saturday night which are absolute the worst nights for television in terms of like ratings and revenues, like they're black holes. So from the network standpoint, they're like, well, gosh, dude, if we put this experimental or this new fringe or whatever, whatever, however they're talking about it, if we put it on this night and it fills a hole for us, like that's, that's good for us. If they bring some audience, like nobody's watching TV anyways on Friday night, you know, but then again, it's like, you'd have to be like, you might end up with Wednesday night paintball. Like, is that a, you know, and, and if it's a live sport, that means that the pro tournament or the pro show or whatever, right. Has to sort of like accommodate, accommodate into, that time frame. In, into that time. So it's like when you start dealing with those, those networks like that, I mean, that's kind of have, yeah, I mean, that's, that seems like it's a no brainer though. Right. Like if you're again, and it's the same thing that, that, that is no problem. Okay. And, and I feel like, cause we, we talked a little bit about it with the rights and, 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 you know, this that and the other is w- once there's like an actual you know the carrot on the end of the stick is much more right. attainable right um if you want you know if you want me to talk shit about kyle but right before we start on the field to like bump this like excitement yeah. up like what maddie was saying is you know doing this i would rather do that once the goal has been achieved rather than me like all right i'm right. just gonna talk shit about kyle and make this rivalry and then cross my fingers that in pfft, I don't know, in the next couple of years, he doesn't hate me and that we have a TV, TV deal and we don't have a TV deal, you know? Like, right. Why, am I, right. Why, why, why are you going to Austin for a tournament on a Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. Just so, in case. So, Versus right. like, hey. Exactly. And, and, and I think I think that... that and it, same thing with the format, right? People might hate it, but if it's if it's the an avenue to where the sport is legitimized and there are... There are actual dollar signs that are that that the that you know Dynasty can now afford to create a secondary and a tertiary farm team where people have an avenue and a place and a pop, an opportunity to move up in the ranks and actually make this a career rather than you know let's call it twenty people in the entire world that play paintball. This is their also their career. You know that's just those numbers aren't 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 good enough. Um, there's got to be an end goal. And I think that once that begins to be attainable, then all of the numbers all together, the 6,000 or 8,000 paid subscribers goes way up because more people are interested because they can afford to be interested in it. 
Um, and then, you know, I, I think that there is an end in sight. It just, that helps with it being on TV, you know? And it, again, the product has to be worth it. They People have to be entertained. Yeah, I think there's, I mean, even even within the context of, of, of a streaming, is there a good, like, you know, and I and I don't know this. It's um, an hour long show sounds like super appealing. I mean, that's almost kind of how. Um, now you know. I mean, that's I'm a I'm a person in my forties, so like I just I just can't consume a whole tournament like like that doesn't <laughs> you know work for me. Um, and and I think other people in my age, you start having kids and family obligations. It's you know it's it's easy to ask the significant other, whatever, whatever, as to be like, you know, Hey honey, like, you know, me and the boys or me and the girls are like watching a three hour pay-per-view or a two hour pay-per-view on a Sunday. Right. It's another thing to be like, Hey, like four times a year, um, I need to not go anywhere for like 10 hours on a Saturday and eight hours on a Sunday. Like that's, you know, Mm -hmm. who, who that ask is available to like that kind of like narrows a little bit. Um, yeah and and hey uh, just again j- let me recap this right thanks kevin for for jumping in here just uh just to recap tom's concept and format this is for in in uh in the easiest possible way so it was basically a maximum time for a single point can be you know between three or four minutes right they, i think bar was talking four minutes if one team is in control of a specific area like the 50 snake or like the red zone bunker or whatever whatever area it is at the end, that that results in what would be like a field, the equivalent of a field goal. So you get you know two or three points. Mm-hmm. Whereas uh, if you actually score the point by hitting the buzzer, then uh, then you would get that touchdown. You'd get the full seven points. Uh, and I kind of like what Kyle had, had discussed and, and and adding in like there's offense and there is defense, mm-hmm. and you get four opportunities or two opportunities to score with an offensive push. And then, then you play defense for two yeah, points, yeah. and it would be the same kind of thing. If no score is put put in there, you don't get anything. But so you only score points by either controlling this position mm-hmm. or actually scoring that the hitting the buzzer. Yeah, and and you can only score those on offense. Mm-hmm. So the defense can't really. I mean, yeah, that's kind of like they, they're only there to make sure you don't score. Yes, if yeah. we score great, you just have to put up another team. You get yeah. one more. So you're taking, which isn't about. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a little bit of everything. That's a cool. Yeah, you're. You're taking a bit of, of, of a baseball structure to it. Yeah, yeah, baseball, football. That, I, I mean, yeah. I like, like it. We're on, you know, okay, when we're pitching, we can't score. Okay, right. My mom understands Right, that. and, and it's it. actually kind of cool, right? Because what it does is is it allows people – it allows to talk talk it up. All right, you know, Dynasty's going up there against on defense again. You know, one of the things they got to worry about is Kyle on the Dorito side and also Alex Goldman in the snake. You know, what are they going to put together on defense here? To make sure they don't score, yeah. right? You know, last last possession when AC Diesel was in was on offense, they uh, they didn't score. Yeah, right. Yep. And then Dynasty was able to score with a great move by X and O, like this person, that person. You know, and I think that that's kind of a cool dynamic on on how that that's works, right? Dude, um, do you do you open up like? Do you get to bring? assuming they want to, right? But do you get to bring people like Rich Telford or Todd Adamson back into the game at a high level? Is like, that's your defensive lineup? Like, you're almost, like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you run out guys that I mean, have a different po- possi- Possibly. I mean, there are, there are certainly guys that you do, like, when you're when you're looking out there, you know, and you're like, okay, it's overtime, or it's, all right, we need to not like, lose this point. We're for sure putting in Marcelo. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. there are guys, you put Yoshi in, you put Marcelo in, you get guys in there, and then maybe, though, maybe the field is set up that you want to, like, also push a you want to you want to get a good spot yeah. right yeah. um that's that's a i mean increasing in my opinion a very in, a more increasingly popular type of defensive play yeah is to take some ground like oh well, there's that you know, dorito yeah the dorito on the, the, the last so one like the, the, yeah that first that big yeah. one mm-hmm. if you if they weren't in the snake yet it was really difficult to, to yeah you just it. sit there and shoot that lane and, and the other <laughs> side of that snake too or something like that across. by the way right just for the just for the record in, in case this actually becomes a thing 
like I was asking a hypothetical question, by the way. Okay. Like when I posed all that to, to Bart, uh-huh. when I was when I just was like, yeah, well, what if you did this? And like, would you guys be willing to? That was kind of in the same level of what we were talking about last week. Or I'd be like, okay, well, like hypo- hypothetically speaking, you guys as pros, how would you feel about? Um, you know, letting people, whatever, dial up drama or whatever. So I was necessary. I was like, oh, like Bart's talking about wanting to do this. Like I haven't, I thought about that for about five seconds in the, the context of the conversation. It really was just meant to be a hypothetical. I guess the answer was an emphatic yes, that he would be open from his position to like, mm-hmm. do we put some, is, is something as the TV presentation, um, I think another key thing, though, and I know it's a different answer for everybody, but I do think it's still important to, like, really draw through. Like, I'm always a big why person, right? Like, why TV? Why? Why does it have to be on TV? I'm not saying it shouldn't. I'm just why, 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 right? Like, what is the... And then I know if it's, like, as it's been talked about, it's like, hey, it's like, so our folks can make a living. It's like, okay, well, are you sure that television delivers that mechanism? Or if it does, how does it do it? Like, you know, those kinds of... And I mean, smarter people than me need to figure those things out. But you know what I mean? I mean, do, does it? I don't know. I just figure that if, uh, if, if, you're, if you're regularly on TV, there's a, more eyes that see you. And therefore, there is a possibility for more or for extra income and revenue streams based on yeah. sponsorship based on likeness rights, based on X, Y, and Z. And I, and I think, you know, and, and that's the other thing I wrote down. And I didn't get a chance to ask him. And I, and I think I've talked to Tom though. So I sort of know the answer. Uh, maybe Kevin, you can, you can answer this right here too. Is uh, what about like a PR or publicist? I mean, publicists, it's they're tricky because uh, oftentimes they just don't fleece you, <laughs> but you know, why not get a PR rep? And I know a lot of people, this is something that, that are, we're getting a lot in the comments is like, why don't we partner with big celebrities or influencers or whatever and just get them in here and do in paintball? It's like, yeah, just... Yeah, I know, too, here and there. Well, dude, that, I mean, that's what, especially in media nowadays, that's that's a massive... Um, whoever brought that up, that was a great point. I mean, that type of stuff is a massive um, element of what PR looks like now. Mm-hmm. Like, PR is not simply the old school, like, you hook up with the PRN Newswire and you send out press releases. Like, that's there's a lot of elements to... But no, Ryan, that... Or, I, I mean, the, the concept of hiring um, a PR firm, I mean, there are professional... You know, there are agencies yeah. dedicated to... I mean, t- I mean, I was doing... I did some promo work a while back. Edelman is, the, like, you know, like... So Mad Men is based on Ogilvy, um, which is like the founders of like the modern American ad agency. Like their counterpart was Edelman out of Chicago and New York and since the 30s, whatever. I mean, that's like the top of the, the mm-hmm. pinnacle. But yeah, there's a ton of PR companies. Like that's a very smart, um, you know, I'm sure they're they're not cheap, but that would be sort of like a good, you know, that, that that's probably a, a good investment. I mean, I know we work on them. I mean, we'll probably... We'll probably look at one for, I mean, specializing in our field, but for the Iron Kids doc, mm-hmm. like we do that, like that's how you get press on your films. It's yeah. like you hire their RPR companies that that's what they specialize in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely right. You know, that's 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 one thing. I mean, look, it, it's it's in it's in it's there. It's in people know about it. People know about paintball. We just need to make sure that it's exciting to watch. Whether it's and, and if if it's the live live show element, and we need to change some things up. That's so be it. I I'm still a fan of creating a fan base to watch the product Mm -hmm. not creating a product and changing the product and crossing our fingers that the fan base will will people will just be like oh i like that that's what the paintball's been missing i think you create a killer show that uh you know follows guys around and shows what it takes to be a pro player and you throw some loot in there and you talk some shit and uh, and you follow the season around, and you create a badass product, and then boom! Once everybody's like, "What is this?" Then they turn it on, and then they watch this new format that's been created simultaneously that makes people interested to watch it. But if you know, yeah, you're 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 tricking the like, yeah. I don't I don't know that 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 is, and you know that's one conversation. Also, you know, like to my point, I mean. NBC means a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. 
Sure. USA Network, NBC Sports, which is separate. NBC owns Golf, Ch- Golf Channel. Like, there's a ton of, like, so, yeah, that, that kind of, like, uh, uh, careful about, like, I, I like that. Creating creating a product to watch for an assumed audience that you don't necessarily know exactly, there exactly, versus, exactly. like, tell stories. I wish, yeah. I don't know how much Bart knew. Like, I don't know very much, Ryan, about, um, I mean, you know, full transparency, the business back end of um, the uh, extreme extreme paintball beyond the paint, like that last show. I uh, mean, who produced that? that? Um, dude, I looked it up. It was a little company. It's it's a company, and I can't, their website doesn't exist anymore. I mean, that was an NPPL driven show. Dude, that you was know, a great not, show. Um, you know, not the WDP version of the NPPL the 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 last version so that's 2007 2008 um i don't know if that was pacific paintball or if that's after the bankruptcy um i think it was similar, like right around there yeah the format was you know so you had some things with that show that, and thankfully they don't exist anymore it was on fox sports net mm-hmm. which was which is this crazy ass regional collection mm-hmm. of you know so it's on this time in Minnesota and this time in San Diego and yeah, all of this yeah. weird nonsense. But from a format standpoint, um, it's very um, you. It's, it's a very tried and true formula. It's a feature piece. Um, you know, you have a. It's a profile show. Um, I think like did you like you went right like you went surfing? They went yeah, with yeah, there. with a little surfing bit, a little thing at the beach, like kind of like cruised around, did some nonsense. But you know, uh, it was it was it was almost I, I don't know if it was ahead, I wouldn't call it ahead of its time, but it was like that was kind of the the mix, and that's what shows are doing incredibly successfully now. It's just with a substantially higher budget and follow, what you know. was I'm trying to remember what was the competition element? So it was that? it was the Atlantic City event, I believe it was Atlantic City. So it was the, and, and it was a one okay. event. So the event had already been filmed and right. shot. Uh, and then they did the the other stuff, so it wasn't like the whole season, right? So, so I want to go back to so what it's we're hard to really about. create the, the the vilify anything, and then they were like they had to sell off each individual person's likeness. But I wanted to go. I wanted to go back to something we were talking about last week when I brought up and we were having that discussion, and you and I were kind of on, we were on different pages. But I was like, how many shows do you think you could get out of one tournament in that format of of a TV show? One tournament could get you a lot. Yeah. Because it's not fully, it's not a televised sports competition, you know? Like, Mm -hmm. you could easily do something where you're like, hey, like, let's take, let's take six guys and their World Cup experience. So Mm -hmm. you're shooting one event, we're going to embed with Kyle, or, you know, we're going to embed with you, yada, and you create those things. I mean, the other thing that you said a few minutes ago, Ryan, that I think is important, and I know you're going to cringe because Alex also said it last week. Um, but this is, you said it this week, is that regular, right? You said something about, well, I just think if paintball is on regularly, like that opportunity, whatever this, whatever something could be that has like some longevity so people can consistently find it. Um, like, you know, that can be very, that can be beneficial. And so I think the, I think again, the right opportunity is important maybe more so than just like, okay, there's a TV deal. That's, that's really cool. But does this make sense for you guys? Yeah, of course. And that's it. I'm, I'm reading some comments right now about, uh, <clears throat> about how, uh, bear gets a bunch of the, the celebrities and stuff to go play paintball a lot. But you know, then that's the thing is like, <clears throat> they, they play like everybody, the people play, we know it. Like they, they, it's just, Again, we have to have we have to be a, on a unified front as far as uh, as far as what is it going to take to give everybody a nice, good quality product to watch? Because currently it's fun and everybody enjoys it, but we're we're talking about right now the the the, the demographic and the sample size that we're polling here on this show are the diehards. You guys are like the the baddest ass you know, fans in paintball right now because you're consuming, yeah, you're going to consume all of it. it, We want to make sure that your uh, moms, sisters, grandmas, fathers, brother-in-law, like all the people that don't really have a skin in the game with paintball 
are also intrigued by it some way and can kind of sit through and bear a little watching it without going, what is going on? And why is this so boring? So that's the, then that's what Bart is talking about. And that's what Tom is talking about is creating that product. And that's where we're stuck. And again, it works well when it's the Philly layout. That one's fun. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure pretty much anybody could watch that and be awesome. But the Texas layout and the first Florida layout, not so fun. Yeah. You know? Uh, so there's, that's where you can't, this format, you're, Bart's right. You know, the format that we currently use has flaws. And that fl- main flaw is it could be just as boring as it is exciting. And that right there is a problem. And, and I know that football, if it's two sh- shitty offenses and two great defenses, it's like, cool, another field goal. This is lame. But yeah. that gets a ton of backlash. Amazon got a sh- ton of heat. This year, because they happened to do Thursday Night Football finally, spent billions of dollars for it, and pretty much every single Thursday Night Football was like nine to six, Damn. or three they got to six. All of the worst. They things. got all, and it was like, oh, Amazon sucks. It's like, hold on, why, why didn't fucking play? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, but yeah. but you know that that's and that's a problem, and it's a problem, and it happens in all sports. You know, soccer, which blows my mind, one zero Dude, at the end. I'm really glad that you brought. <sighs> You brought them up because that was something that I found I, I, I was going to bring up. Um, you lose the regional ability, but like, I bet not enough attention is paid to paying attention to MLS mm-hmm. and what's working for them because they've done a really good mm-hmm. job mm-hmm. of building a fucking great fan base. Yeah, I actually have it written down right here from last deal. week. I, I okay. actually, I know it. I know their formula. Wait. <laughs> if anybody can yeah. see, yeah, it's it's dollar that signs. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's actually the formula. That's it. That's straight from Beckham's desk desk right here. Yeah, just um, okay. Let's see. How are we gonna get more people to watch uh, our sport in the U.S.? Uh, let's hire the most expensive guy for fifty million dollars a year. Done. Because it worked with me. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a Miami guy now? No, no. But I'm no. saying David Beckham was the first. Uh, that was the litmus right. test for that situation. The LA Galaxy, or was it Galaxy? or Yeah. yeah LA exactly. Galaxy hired him 10 or 15 years ago and paid yeah. him gobs of money to go over there. And that's what the Saudis are doing right now with, they were trying to do with Messi, but they did it with uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo yeah. is we need people, to, we need to legitimize, we need people, we need, we need, to, we need to create fans quickly. What did Live Golf do? Let's get the most expensive guys, cause some controversy. Let's do that. So, what does Paintball need to do? We need to create something by, uh, you know, making a more a, a fun product and get a lot of spectacle around it. Uh, MLS games are really different. Too. Oh, they are. Like, there's a, smaller fields. Slightly. Yeah, and just and just the vibes. I mean, they you know you have like some places have the like. I, I mean, they were using them in the rocks football league now like the beer troughs i mean there's a lot of of there is a lot of grassroots building into the fan bases like i do have a colleague that works in mls i wonder that some beyond like the big signings i mean they're like you know those are kind of few and far between like i was like even their second level of um like dude we've got a an mls it's not really theater like it works a little bit differently but like we have one here in omaha union omaha that draws great Mm-hmm. Sporting KC does fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's a it's a rabid fan base, but they don't. I'm trying to think what is there even. I think they built a lot of their their audience um, over the last ten years through a really strong over the top network. Like, they might have a broadcast deal. Um, you know, the tough part that you guys have is always that like San Diego Dynasty doesn't all live in San Diego even during the season. Like, so you can't necessarily build onto that regionalism. Mm -hmm. Um, But I just always curious if there's, there's stuff, you know, little nuggets that can be gleaned. You know, I don't think paintball and paintball TV or what have you will ever be like a one-to-one, like, Oh, we just, you just copy um, subject X. It's Mm -hmm. like, you're going to have to take a little bit from here and a little bit from here and a little bit from here and, and kind of make your own, make your own stew. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, I like it. I like. I I, I think we're we're still kind of you know chipping away. I, I I do believe that you know Bart's the exact opposite of how Alex is, which is Alex is just put your head down and just keep chipping away and something good is gonna happen. 
Um, you know, and then Bart's like, dude, just let's get it. Let's do it and make it work. <laughs> so success is probably a marriage of those two philosophies. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I completely yeah. agree. That's a, that's a good point. Um, because dude, the thing that you have to worry about, again, the thing that you have to remember um, is just it is important. TV is a business about selling advertising. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, Maddie said this in the clip that you shared this week, and it is important. Like, you go and make a move that you blow everything to pieces. I mean, that's literally what NXL version one did. You know, you had a two year blackout, and it got a dick rating. It got a three, which was like, yeah, I think 400,000 people. And then, of course, they're like they're on to the next thing. They're on to pickleball. They're on to like whatever because they don't care about the sport and it's, they don't need to. You know that's that's what they're doing. So I get that Alex's and, and that that perspective. You blow everything up. You're starting to build. You know the industry's starting to build some very cool things. Um, so yeah, maybe like a measured approach that combines uh, two things is is the safe way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's I, mean, I, I think so, because I, I that I, I that makes the most sense to me, right? Because if you're too cautious, maybe it doesn't happen. Too gung ho, maybe uh, you break, you mess around and break things. What they yeah. say, um, what is that? What is that theory when you uh, when you just it's like move fast and break things? The the te- the tech entrepreneur uh, <laughs> method. Uh, I can see that. I mean, yeah, it's it's move it's move fast and break things, and it's like well, whatever, it's it's working. <laughs> and now we can't now they can't afford to break things but yeah anyway yeah and it's just i mean yeah what has to factor into that too right is it's just i mean television success is a very small margin it's the, the odds right you, you gotta play the odds to some degree so it's like are you, you know if, if you if you opt to blow everything up for something that's a one in a million chance you know, you don't mm-hmm. want to be you don't want to be Jim Carrey in the super old movie uh, where he's like um, uh, Dumb and Dumber, and he's like, well, "So you're telling me?" She's like, "Dude, I'm not." Yeah, like, <laughs> million to one chance, maybe. I, you're like, saying you there's a chance. Me. There's a chance. Like, yeah, you you want to kind of mm-hmm. be measured like that. I mean, maybe, you know, t- yeah. you know, television is, can 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 be tough. Yeah, and and look, and Michael Brayton in the in the chat. This is this is he brought up a really good point, and this is something that I always harped on the PSP guys for doing, and I, I brought it up to to Bart, and I think you know maybe we'll maybe this will happen in 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 Maui in in, in February hopefully, uh, but film a bunch of different formats, show them to focus groups, and see what is the best. Yeah. You know, I don't I think February is a little too late. You kind of need to do it like the weekend the the weekly following World Cup, and just be like, hey guys. Stay out this here. Is a smart man. This is this is it. Yeah, you have you have to they're have a focus called, group. They're called pilots, y'all. Pilots, yeah. Focus <laughs> I mean, groups. Pilots. That's that's literally what television. I mean, again, it's kind of been broken up a little bit, but but in essence, that I mean, there used to be a whole pilot season. I mean, that's what you do. You do something. Um, you make one, um, and then mm-hmm. a network is going to decide whether they pick up the show. They don't pick up the show. That type of thing. So I mean that concept of like um yeah the the thing when you start to get into that stuff though is you just have to be very conscious you have to be very focused and understand your goal because you can't show like if you if you want to reach a casual viewer then you can't show the format to hardcore paintball fans you know, it's like nobody in your focus group or a very low percentage of your focus group can be a fan for more than like five years, right? Because right. that's not who you're trying to reach. Like you have to make sure that you you set up your focus groups properly. But like, no, man, that's a very that's a very sound approach. That's how a lot of things happen in media. You cut a sizzle is probably nowadays more so than a pi- than a than a pilot because they're they're more inexpensive. But that's a smart note, man. Yeah. Well, there it is. I think that that's the move, and, and I'm going to be pushing for that. I'm definitely going to be pushing for for going to Maui. That's that's a guarantee. Yeah, dude. How, whatever that. Yeah, means, whatever. Yeah, I'm sorry. Whatever that, whatever happens, I'll be in Maui in February. Just yeah. uh, just letting you guys know. And uh, and and uh, Maui Rockstar Jesse, I'll see you out there. 
You know, I will. I'm bringing my bringing my boards. All those pilots in mm-hmm. f- for you, Ryan, in Hawaii. You need to see. I let's think go. Let's get. Yeah, maybe we do. Maybe we do uh, an advanced screening out there. The Iron Kids dock, which is the whole the whole. Dude, the fun there's thing. a whole Hawaii section. Dude, man. there's a Hawaii. There's, there is a Hawaii section. You're absolutely there, right. That was. Legitimately the, is. That um, was. Uh, and dude, so this is the closest we, we can get. I don't know how close we got, but. On that Rafion Stotts dock, so after we shot all you guys in San Diego, uh-huh. Rafion was fighting for the Bellator uh, Interim Championship in Hawaii. We all went home. Sammy flew from San Diego to Hawaii and shot Raf fight, but he also went out into the city and got the drone up and tried to get around like where we think you guys may have stayed. Dude, I don't know where we stayed. I cannot figure it out. I, I'm pretty sure we stayed on the west side. We were texting Crandall at the, but at the time. I just can't out. figure it out. I, I mean, but then again, there was a bunch of reef because I remember I jumped in the water and I smoked my toes. So we might have been on that south, like the, the southeast side, like around by uh, Diamond Head. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I think that's where the paintball field was, was out there. Yeah, we were trying to yeah. figure out that. We yeah. were also trying to figure out if like the tattoo shop is, is still there and at least get Sammy overhead. Hey, do you have any um, do you have any waivers from uh, 1998 that I could uh, take a look at, please? I uh, just I'm wanted sure to see you if you have Brian Cole and yeah Oliver Lang. Uh, they both got their tongues pierced. No. Um, so that was there is, um, Brian was like, "Hey, yes, there's a little no. <laughs> oh, That's great. Um, there's at least there's at least some aerial Hawaii footage that will be. What, okay. But dude, um, if you guys uh, do some pilot stuff out there. That's a whole other reason to uh, go back and All right. shoot in Hawaii. But. Yeah, we're doing it. I'm 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 calling it right now. But yes. Um, all right, Dan. Well, thank you, dude. Cool. I appreciate it. I mean, we're we're gonna be calling. You're gonna be the call the phone a friend. Uh, I think <laughs> fairly mm-hmm. fairly more yeah. often, dude. You're you're the man. Have I know residency. Here. Yeah, you're gonna have a residency on the show. We got yeah, dude. Brad's Brad's okay. moving into town. I think he moved into town like this week. So we're gonna get him in the studio at some point in time. Oh yeah, you gotta get Beast Mm around there. Mm -hmm. I would I would say almost next week. You gotta do the show on your your, by yourself next week, actually. Oh, you're going to yeah. I'm I'm headed to Mexico. I just I just polished up all my surfboards. Oh uh, nice. I'm going on going on a little trip for a couple of days. Yeah, there's a good that's a good way to introduce Beaster, man. You bring him on, Kyle, next week. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, there it is, dude. Like it. That'd be great. Um, Yeah, dude. No, super fun. Always always fun. Thank you very much for having mm -hmm. me and let me. chat with folks um yeah dude any anytime uh mm. anytime you guys need anything let all me right know. oh yeah dude you're the man dude right, I, I, I really appreciate it so all right, the insight. thank you anything you uh just decide that you forgot to, to say on the show we'll just we'll keep compiling yeah, okay. a list of all yeah, that stuff because like, i forgot about this i forgot about, right. I forgot about that i forgot about this <laughs> yeah so um all right we'll kill her all right, guys thanks Later. man Internet. all righty um okay should we turn the camera on should we, should we send it? Send it off with the. I think it's on. It's been on. Is it really? Yeah. You just gotta put it back to. Oh wow. That other um. Setting. What was the setting? Or on OBS. Oh yeah, no, we were. You uh, gotta check the. What setting on OBS? Like you gotta change the camera link. No, it's it's here. This is it. Hold on. No, because uh, it's on the it's on the computer right now, right? What's on the computer? Like how the people are seeing us right now. This camera is off the computer, right? Yeah. The Mac. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Where is it? No, I don't. I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it anywhere. Here, can you check that thing? Move the little little camera. We're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see if this works here. It's uh it's not picking it up. Is it plugged in? Looks yeah, like it's in on, it's on. It's on. Maybe I'll do pull this out and then plug it back in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try that see what happens all right so if any of you who are d- just now joining us or joined us after the first 20 minutes we had a you know this beautiful little setup here what are you trying to do i was just feeling the, the temp is it hot it's a little warm oh yeah that might be a thing feel yeah she's cooking nothing like crazy i think you just turned this i did a little bit huh um so anyway we we had a new camera set up there's cam link it's just not uh it's not um yeah it's not finding it. It's not a thing. It's not happening. Let me uh, let me open this thing up here real quick. We'll do it. We'll give it one more shot, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing some uh, some giveaways because last week I deprived everybody of the uh, 
we deprived you guys all of the uh, wheel. And, you know, uh, YJ Warren, I don't know exactly what the wheel is going to be, um, but, uh, but yeah. Press the AMB on the cam GSL, then turn up the RSX. I don't know if you're messing with me or if that's like a bunch of nonsense that, uh, that I should be paying attention to, but I don't know that that's how it is. Uh, we were, we were good for a little bit. We were, we were cruising and, uh, and now we're then, then all of a sudden we weren't. So, uh, but the picture looked beautiful for those of you who are, who are in on that, um, there in the beginning. So let me find out. I don't even know what this thing's called. The camera? It's, no, that it's like, there's like an app I had to download. Oh, it's gone. Oh, this thing. Elegato. No, it's right here. So look, connect your camera. I mean, maybe she's just cooking too too hot. Right yeah. Here. Maybe she's just a little, a little too warm. Please connect an Elegato camera to the to use the hub. Yeah, we're uh, like all this stuff is hot. Oh, it is. Yeah, everything, everything, everything's toasty. Like this mm. whole, this whole unit is like, is is, is like. You can cook an egg on this. <laughs> Change so. your video input on OBS. Huh? Change your video input. No, no, on it's, it's not even recognizing the camera whatsoever. Oh, it's not picking it up. No, no, no. It's like that's that's why. I, yeah, I know how to, I know how all that stuff. Uh, how all this stuff works. Yeah, it's not even it's not even recognizing it more than likely because this thing is so hot that. Uh, I mean, like this. So we've got. So this is how. This is what's happening right here. I'm just gonna unplug this thing. So we've got this. Uh, this. This Elegato cam link right here. Uh, but I mean, this is like. Like what happens? What's happening inside of there to make it like that warm? Like this thing, the HDMI cord is warm. Hmm. Okay. About okay. my pay grade. But yeah, mine too. Well, good thing. I was thing. talking Amazon's to Brian everyone. yesterday at Mark's house. He's like. You guys oh. still need to get that camera thing set up. Or I don't know what, what he, he was, was saying. About, yeah. He's talking about some really technical stuff. I was like, we, I, we don't know how to do that. Can you come? Just come just over. Just come over. Yeah. And he's like, all right, all right, I'll come do that. Like, yeah. Yeah. When you tell, I'm like, you telling me all those words. Yeah, I right now. And, you know, yeah. like, and we've had, a couple, you gotta, we've yeah, had a couple of beers. Yeah, and you're I don't saying have a pen. I've got, yeah, I've got a June shine in my hand. Yeah. I don't have a pen, fool. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right, let's uh, let's jump into here right now. with the. Let's make sure that this still this still works here. We're on the video capture here. Uh, display capture. Let's go ahead and throw this up here on the. Look, I'm going to shuffle these names. We got 440 of you down. Down numbers are uh, hurting a little bit. Let's give a little Gen X Global giveaway right here, and um, put you right here in the middle. Mafia! Oh, look at that, nice. dude! Nice. Guess who's getting an air horn and a pod caddy? Yeah, Mafia. Our number one employee. Look at that. Our first and our only. Yeah. Just right out the gate. Give him a win. Give the man a win. All right, another prize from Gen X. Then we're going to give away a couple of t-shirts here. Um, I do have different sizes in the t-shirts. However, you're still going to just kind of get one size fits all. Um, Mike Kilgallen. There we go. Getting some Gen X uh, goodies. Now we're going to jump over to a Matrix Gear t-shirt. Uh, throw in some lanyards out there. We're gonna just gonna kind of spin it around. Then we're gonna get to the mega support status wheel and uh, and fire off a couple other really cool, cool gifts. Mr. Mark B. What do you guys think? Should we make some of those those t-shirts also? These right here, yeah. Yeah, I think we need. A well, so what we're thinking about doing is we want to make some shirts, but we've got to have like some great slogans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, like the Spick and Span show live Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Like Hopefully. Case. Yeah. You know, more than likely. Or that's what we're shooting for. Or like a, like a, uh, be like a picture of us on the back and then it's like the spinning uh, beach ball. Ooh. And we're just frozen. That's it's a like good, a weird, yeah. <laughs> like the ones or just the spinning boat, just the spinning beach yeah, ball. Yeah, that just and that just says spick and span spick show. Spick and span show, and it's a beach it's ball. A spinning beach yeah. ball. That's a good one. Halvard Brecken, you're gonna win uh, a cool little spick and span show lanyard to show your support. I think that's a that, that's a great one. Yeah, Brandon said almost was the uh, the grande. In span show, 
I know. That, you would have changed. You would change your last name. I would have had to. Yeah, right? Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Because she can't do a full rebrand. She yeah. can't be Ariana Spica. Yeah. Maybe just on, like, the driver's license, but she never changes her actual... She doesn't tell anyone that's... Oh, name. sure, 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 sure. I, I see what you're saying. For, yeah, that, that makes more sense, actually. Okay, mega support status members. <laughs> Dr. Despair, we appreciate you. You're great. Um, yeah, it's Steven... I actually uh, uh, uploaded... Oh, Kyle Banks is going to be getting some Gen X Global. No. Um, I uploaded all the videos. So anytime you come to a clinic with me, I give you guys a bunch of uh, videos to take home to watch. Um, Dynasty Dissected. To adjust, yeah. Actually, we gave away two Dynasty Dissected last weekend. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They, someone brought them out there. Nice. I said, who has a DVD player? And this one kid was like, dude, I do. I got a, I got a PS whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, you won. <laughs> You won this prize, my friend. Also giving out some headbands, courtesy of Hormesis. Uh, hopefully, I get my bag back. Oh, yeah. Have oh, Gabe! Um, it, Gabe Muscle Man. Dude, Muscle Man is the man. I got an idea of what size shirt you wear, too, so that's good. All right, let's give, a, let's give another lanyard out. This is the Mega Support Status members. We really appreciate you guys' support. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, before... Mr. Stufflebeam. Before we go to... Um, Maybe you guys could throw in uh, what special guests maybe from the past or that you'd want to see on uh, next week. I could call in. Could have a uh, Officer Bubble Bath here maybe in the studio. I think that's a good idea. Um, who Bubble else? Bath is feeling the love, by the way, for everybody out there who uh, who gives him love <laughs> and tells him uh, that he's he does a good job on the Spick and Span show. Mm. He does re he does really appreciate that. So. Oh, sick. Peter, you got that uh, that that Iron Kids Flex strap. Uh, also, yeah, I'm going to be at Annandale Paintball this weekend. Then we're doing the summer camp. I think there's two spots left open for the summer camp. If you guys are into it, uh, I highly suggest you register for the summer camp. Kyle and I will be out there. I have to I have to confirm my flight. You have to buck your flight. Mm -hmm. We're actually going. And, um, and then after that, August 5th and 6th, I will be uh, back at SC Village for another big clinic. That one was fun. Dude, the field's looking nice. And I think everybody just did the grand opening last weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we got that. Nick Sloviak is a guest. That's an option. Got to get yeah. Goldman. Keep bring, bring Mouse down. So I need your guys' help. If you guys want Mouse down here, you're going to have to uh, shoot him everybody, a message. Everybody message him on social media. And say, hey, you should really, since Ryan's gone next week, you should really go down mm -hmm. and do the show with Kyle in person. Mm -hmm. Ryan's not there to pick on you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll make him feel a little um, Because he... It's a tough, tough one to get in the studio, <laughs> even though he only lives like 45 minutes away. <laughs> um, also, yeah, I'm going to be playing uh, next weekend, actually. I'm going to be doing something local, either ASG. i got some family coming into town. I'm going to get my auto cocker. i got my auto cocker right here. He's going to get tuned up, I think. Uh, we got the cocker top paintball. It's a local guy who's like a, um, like, fixes auto cockers. And my poor... Um, I pour whatever this free flow auto cocker. The hoses like to shoot off of it all the time. It's more to look at. I um, like that uh, last week, like after we put that away, Maddie's like, can I just hold that thing yeah, can for I, like can 30 I, minutes? Can I get it back? See, this, thing is, this, thing is, this thing is ready to rock, Jeez. dude. Yeah. Oh, see? It stopped. Oh, wow. Uh, need a little bit of little, some oil. Oil? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Have you ever shot one of these? Yeah, I think so. Not like in a game, I think. That's we. That's what we need to do. We need to get you out. Big game. I would. I would use that. That gun seems pretty nice. All right. All right. Let me move this thing. Okay. Well, um, if my camera is not completely melted, maybe we'll maybe we'll get like an ice pack for it for next week. Yeah, um. Yeah. Let's try it one more time. Maybe R Ryan Brand could be a good one. Oh, dude. Ryan Ryan's Brand. Great. Yeah. yeah. Ryan Brand's I just great. had to. Um, Talk to him a lot more than I ever have at that at Archfest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so, Archfest, uh, that was a fun one. Yeah, I, I like Ryan a lot. Yeah. yeah. Maybe him and Meter both Dude. get them both on. That would be good. Mhm. Mm now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right. Well, uh, yeah, the camera is is not working. <laughs> yeah, we will be going to Fayetteville, August eighteenth oh, weekend. That's right. Yeah, we got uh, we got AG Paintball and then Fayetteville right yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Stoked. Yeah, so um, list of the clinics, I believe, is down below in the uh, in the comment section, or not the comments, in the description, show description. And so, yeah. All oh, right. Thomas Taylor? Thomas Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Get okay. Thomas on. 
some good. Well, um, yeah, man. Great show. Sorry for the little bit of... Uh, Sorry for making you guys see exactly what we really look like at that crystal clear and just teasing everybody, but but um, I'm going to start wiggling around some chords and see what happens, and, and maybe uh, maybe we can get this thing working. Next I time. could get that trifecta of uh, Mouse, Damien, Ryan, and Jerry to just really unleash the jokes. Yeah, yeah. Let's just make sure we don't get um, uh, flagged. flagged. Make sure we, yes, the count yeah. doesn't get flagged. Canceled. You get Damien and Mouse on it. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're going gonna gonna to get a full strike. <laughs> you too. I'm going to be over there in, in, in Mexico. It's going to be like, like alert, alert, yeah, alert, alert. alert. <laughs> oh, man.